Yo, what's up everybody? Today, we're going to be beginning the Toki Hogushi playthrough. Now, I am really damn excited for this one. I really think that this is going to be a brilliant chapter. It has so much potential. I really, really hope to the bottom of my heart that it is fulfilled. Because I think if it is, this chapter is going to be brilliant. Because, yeah, we're in 1982. Nina, Nina has murdered somebody. Toki, Toki? What? Tomoe, even, is actually going to investigate it. So we're not only going to get more of Tomoe, who is a fucking brilliant character, but we're also going to get, like, some sort of really interesting mysteries with Nena, I'd assume. I really don't know. And I heard, um, that we're actually going to be a few things about, um, debating the sort of validity of Hinamizawa syndrome as well. So I wonder, um, how that's actually going to tie into everything. Man, I just really wonder what's, um, going to happen in this arc. I'm really quite interested in it. Isn't it nice to think, by the way, that we only have, like, three so we have this story Miyosuke Shida and then I suppose almost here if you count that we only have three full oh yeah oh yeah connecting fragments as well four full stories um left of Higurashi I mean that is ridiculous when I say four full stories I suppose I suppose you could count all the ones that actually are featured in Hall but I don't know I just don't really I don't really consider them as full stories they're just sort of mini things you can play for you know fun little day with a visual novel but yeah anyway i'm really getting sidetracked here let's just get into it already right let's begin so um yeah we're gonna start it now and yeah look at this toki hoggy a new character by the way i have no idea who that is but um well i've obviously had some rumors but yeah no idea so um yeah it's gonna be really quite interesting seeing not only who that character is but secondly yeah look at this so um i can look then in the about story sequ sequence, obviously, can be read after completing some of the Target Borsi and Minagorosi as well. Yep, we're going to get a lot of stuff about Minagorosi. I wonder um, what's actually going to happen re regarding, you know, the truth of um, the, I suppose, the disappearance of Satoshi. It's 1982, so, by the way, this is the second story we've actually received um, in 1982, I think. Yeah, yeah, it has to be. Yes, Tomo Amina is investigating a mysterious death that she believes is somehow connected to Ryugu Reina. <laughs> right, this really is going to be quite something. Oh, if you speak of justice, the others will laugh at you. What a naive, helpless thing to say. If you speak of... The, um, the others will berate you. What a coolest, cool thing to say. If you... Nothing will be said. So in the end, everyone remains silent. Oh, that's really interesting. Hmm. Ooh. So it looks like we're going to get oh. Tomo's point of view first. Oh. First line is Madoka. <laughs> ah, I'm obviously wrong. <laughs> After finishing her daily workload and making her way down the hallway, she could hear somebody else walking behind a distant corner, beyond the distant corner. Oh, gotta get that right. That small detail. Maybe that's sis. Oh yeah, I wonder. So this would have been a year after, obviously, they met for the first time after a long time, and yeah, obviously they made up everything that they could. Yeah. It was just a hunch, but she stopped and listened more carefully. Then she had a faint but dignified sounding voice greeting somebody by saying thank you for your hard work. Oh, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's Tomoe. <laughs> as soon as she um, recognized her sister's voice, Madoka snapped her fingers and snapped her stared up. <laughs> uh, now's a good time to say thank you, I guess. <laughs> Before long, she noticed the signs of that person approaching the corner. Hmm. This isn't an opportunity to catch up by surprise. Madoka lightly smiled to herself and cleared her throat and took a breath. Oh my god, is she gonna scare her? <laughs> Thanks for all the hard work, isn't the red mean eye? <laughs> what the fuck? I kinda get the impression that mean eye has literally got her leg and kicked her in the stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Monica gritted her um using the time she was finally starting to get used to. Oh my god, yeah, 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 fair enough. Yeah, she always finds it hard to refer to her as that as opposed to, you know, sister. <laughs> well sis, but like, yeah, 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 still. Um but as soon as she got a good look, she screamed! And then some of the officials who were walking and talking alongside her stopped and looked startled. Oh my god, that is so embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, what happens this? Why do you look like this? <laughs> Come on, Mado. I mean, Minai san. <laughs> yeah, it must just be so weird having like a relationship with obviously somebody on a relative um, scale and then just having to call them by their surname, even though it follows your exact surname. <laughs> it's important for you to keep your private life from several from the workplace. But she literally is looking. <laughs> yeah, she is looking injured, I'd assume. This is no time to be saying something like that. Oh, what on earth happened to your... <laughs> oh, but how did you get so injured? Oh, shit. 
Naturally, Monaco will raise their voices. She said that she is going to get in so much trouble. She's genuinely interrupting, like, what could potentially be a meeting. <laughs> because she was once standing face to face. Because she was once, um, because once she was standing face to face with the person she was waiting for, her sister Tom Wise dressed in appearance looked positively frightening. Oh. <laughs> Suffice to say, it was awful atrocious. What about jacket sleeves? Was torn. Oh my god. And the blouse um, below was torn as well. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happens? Not only that, but she could see several red cuts along the bare skin there. Jesus Christ. She either has, I don't know, some had some sort of really bad accident, or maybe she's just, you know, tried to catch some really difficult criminals. Who knows? There was a mess in a red, a red stain that was clearly blood spread across her neck. Jeez. Holy fuck. And there was a bandage affixed next to her mouth to stop the bleeding. I thought that a tissue was packed into one of her nostrils. Oh my oh, god. <laughs> yeah, I've had some trouble. I love that she's just going to belittle it as much as that. Yeah, yeah, it's nothing. I might be really fucking visibly, visually injured, but yeah, yeah, it's fine. But to be fair, she's so used to stuff like this. Uh, that <laughs> What, somebody's in prison now? Jesus Christ. I was following a key witness went later to a case, and somehow I let off five results in the uh, That's really good, yeah. That's actually really quite surprising. <laughs> you could just, you could just tell from stuff like this that Monoka's gonna be a parent soon. <laughs> this is a big deal. Oh, damn. Is it really though? <laughs> she can like get a new one? Oh, your jacket is completely tattered. Oh, God, and there were still traces all over your arms and legs, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, got injured on the job. I love it. <laughs> Make sure that it was all the job's fault. You weren't at fault whatsoever. I mean, to be fair, she wasn't really at fault. She was just trying to defend herself and got really badly caught up in a fight. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's that bad. I mean, that's actually fair enough. From, uh, you know, from nostril um, having a tissue could potentially mean a ble bleeding or maybe broken nose and then loads and loads of blood everywhere. Yeah, it really is quite scary. What she's actually been through, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny, that. Yeah, I kind of get the impression that... It was a little bit of a bluff, or maybe it was a genuine mistake. Who knows? First off, you didn't you tell me last night that today's case would be something boring and sad? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the was an earth is this? Oh, I'll stay for the uh, something, something, but something unexpected happens when no trust but to use force, okay? Whoops, came out. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. What, what about tissues? Oh, oh, right, right. I, I thought she could potentially, you know, not be allowed to admit that she was actually using force to, you know, carry the situation um, to a standstill. Yeah, I thought she could potentially get in trouble for saying that, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Madoka is probably like 10 times more mad than Tomoe is, even though she's, you know, not a, the situation happened to her at all whatsoever. <laughs> One of her tissues fell out as she said that, and she caught it in the one hand, still in good position. Jesus Christ, and one of her hand. Yeah, I mean, her hand must have really been. Oh my god, yeah. The traces of blood beneath her nose look stupidly painful. <laughs> oh, what an unbelievable sign. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> She's at a wit's end trying to deal with this one. <laughs> yeah, that's actually really quite funny. I thought it was I thought it was the other way around. <laughs> I thought it could be by speaking. Madoka thought her sister Tomoe um, definitely felt the bill to be called a beautiful woman. 
<laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I saw the term there gave an androgynous impression. I don't even want to know what that word means, so obviously I'm naturally going to search it up. Just out of instinct, you know? <laughs> what? Partly male and partly female in appearance. I mean, you can't lie, that is genuinely true for that. <laughs> but compared to a female... <laughs> compared to female analysts and corporate secretaries, her neat intellectual appearance um, couldn't help but attract attention regardless of gender. Hmm. <laughs> As a result, overreaching, overreaching bachelors among um, her superior, superiors, um, subordinates, and even colleagues secretly aimed um, for her ever since she was appointed to this station. Oh god, so many that they couldn't even be, they couldn't be counted on two hands! Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. Yeah, these people were a little bit, even colleagues though, holy fuck. Hudita. Um, Hanaba as well? Yeah, my god. I wonder if they've... I mean, Fujita literally has a wife. No, they both have wives. If they did that, then if they obviously got the hots for her, that would be a little bit weird. <laughs> that is so sad. But despite that, Domoe insisted on walking around in a shabby condition like this. Yeah, she doesn't care whatsoever. I mean, I don't blame her. Like some kind of third-rate actor. <laughs> If anybody who had a crush on her saw her like this, they'd probably become disillusioned and might even lose their trust in women. <laughs> or maybe they're just going to really reevaluate their choices of who to get the hots for. Let's just say that. <laughs> I don't see anything. I don't see anything. You, <laughs> this is a dream. <laughs> Hang on a second. Are these people genuinely talking, or is this just like a uh, sort of indication of what could be said? Finny distraught, the men seem to be chatting. Like some kind of Buddhist prayer while quickly making their escape. You have got to be kidding me. Oh my god. Well, the police department are very. <laughs> let's just say they're very desperate. <laughs> wow. Hopefully, that strange trauma didn't take their view to perception of women. Pray for it. I hope. I just hope even more so that they don't already have a woman. <laughs> Unbelievable! Even if you're a chief inspector, isn't it unreasonable to um, fight criminals head on with a woman's body? It's suicidal! Tell that to Mion! Oh, yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. That's very true. You're just like the elders in Mito, your opponent isn't gonna give up just because you're, you flash a police. Okay, understand. Uh, what are you, oh my god, you just hear the detest in her voice. I get it, don't break up Mito, okay? Jinji Mito. <laughs> my favourite manga artist. I told you, this time, um, it just happened by coincidence, alright? <laughs> I can't take it if you keep this up. <laughs> <laughs> well... It's actually kind of... I mean, obviously, when she says military conflict zone, she means really, really, um, you know, really just obvious that military things are going on there, and obviously people would be affected all around the town or village or whichever type of place it is. But, um, yeah, you know, so I suppose it definitely has that UN military element in it with the mountain dogs. <laughs> and she's going to go there as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never even been overseas. Oh my god, so she's been in Japan for all of her life. She's never actually travelled out of Japan once. <laughs> or maybe she, maybe she hasn't. Um, when she says overseas, she means... I don't really know what they consider overseas. Maybe to a different continent? Like, for example, whenever I've heard the term overseas, it's usually described as... I don't know, really. I mean... I suppose shipping overseas, for example, it's... Um, Shipping over the seas, or I suppose traveling, traveling on the river, traveling on any sort of ocean. 
Yeah. So I suppose you could say, I don't know, going to New Zealand would be going to an overseas place. Anywhere in Asia, in fact. <laughs> then Monocon noticed on Moist Detective Power standing behind her and turned to vent her anger at him. <laughs> oh my god, seriously! <laughs> Oh, what about you, Hujita san? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's actually understandable. What, what was he doing? Maybe he had some sort of other work related thing to do. Or maybe it was his day off. Who knows? <laughs> but you can't even do that pro. Really? Oh. Oh, right. But after yelling. Oh, that definitely sounds like the wrong time to do stuff. Yeah, I wonder what's actually happened. But after her yelling, yelling at him, something looked off about his expression, so she tilted her head to the side. The detective named Huzita quickly dropped his shoulders with a pale, completely exhausted look on his face, as if he just returned from hell itself. Jesus. Rather, it seemed like he had so little presence here that he was liable to vanish any moment. God. In other words, he was liable to pass out. Well, that's actually really quite surprising. I wonder, wonder what he's done. He's definitely gone through some sort of experience. Oh, and Fujita san. Fujita san? Oi. Hey. <laughs> I love this is just so sort of teasingly says it. It's useless. Oh my God. <laughs> even, if you, even if you fed him with a mountain of words, he would just sit there without response. Jesus Christ, he must have been in a really, in a really just desperate and dangerous situation for this to actually happen. Huh? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Why is he sort of, you know, having a more, let's just say, mischievous expression? It's getting harder and harder to understand. Well, it's alright. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's actually really quite funny. You don't care about your appearance whatsoever, but... Oh, the second it's Chief's business. Yeah, yeah, she's got to look as good as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Monaco, but would you remind escorting zombie goon here to the first criminal division's office? Oh, thanks. Oh, wait! <laughs> yeah, yeah, whenever you say wait, you there is probably a 0 0.01 chance they're actually going to do so. <laughs> I just love how mad she sounds. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything to deserve this. Yeah. <laughs> well, grumbling to herself, Monica pulled out a police notebook and reached the date, time, and place Tomoe just mentioned. Oh, recorded. Um, the things she mentioned. Ever since Tomoe was reassigned to Kakiyoshi Station, she was very careful not to refer to her sister as Madoka during official duties. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, especially because they work in the same police station. Perhaps Don Moy intended to use it as a countermeasure if they ever got into an argument. Oh. <laughs> you really think if they get into an argument at the workplace, they're not going to, you know, personally refer to each other like that? would just be so weird, arguing with your sister and not even referring to her with her first name. I mean, that would just be so weird. Yeah, but there was no time for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, you go. You go. What the fuck? Is he seeing things at the moment? Oh my god, he must have been in a really quite difficult situation. Holy shit. <laughs> the zombie kid, I love it. <laughs> Seriously, what happened? Yeah, yeah, what actually did? Yeah, Maruka didn't help but sigh at a completely unimaginable situation. Yeah, God, I genuinely wonder. I mean, ooh, I wonder what this is. Yeah, October 1982. Seeing this story in a month that isn't June, that is very, very rare. Sometimes July, but yeah, <laughs> this really is quite odd. Nearly two months have passed since um, Tom Wai completed their training with the National Police, Police Agency and transferred to Kakuyuki Station. Oh, wow. Hmm. Tomoe's official title was Third Wide Area Subsection Chief of the First Division of the Chibu Region of the National Police Agency. I think if you remember all of that and you refer to your name, if you actually, if anybody ever asks you to state your title and then you just probably spend easily the next 20 seconds, or maybe, no, maybe not 20, maybe 10 at the very most, just saying your title. Oh my god, I have never seen such a fucking long title in my life. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Fuck you all. That really is quite something. An extreme north of oh, God, yeah, definitely. But in short, she was responsible for investigating cases involving multiple prefectures and areas within the Tuba region. Oh. That's interesting. So when obviously in um Kagiyabashi and some of the when um the cases actually went out of their um region, they were they were not only going out of all the prefectures they were allowed to investigate in, but also out of Chiba itself. And I suppose into Gihu region for the Hinomatawa related things. Co coordinating and um directing the activities of each prefectural police department and, and involved. And with Thin Kakuji section, she was appointed the Otato with an assistant director. Yeah, and that put her at a higher position than the section chief of a mid police station. Oh my god, yeah, that's insane! <laughs> Which meant um, she had the third highest rank at- Jesus. Just behind the chief and deputy chief allegedly. That's ridiculous. Wow. However, uh, almost everybody you saw uh, official type reacted by saying how unfortunate. This <laughs> <laughs> is just because- <laughs> あ、使いがひどすぎるんじゃないか。Absolutely, it's like learning that the destination for our school field trip is a shabby, it's some shabby mountain where they abandon elderly people. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Yeah, so these people are definitely not taking the fact that she's so young, and firstly, and secondly, that, um, you know, she's really quite new and, and the whole police things compared to any other people that would have a rank as high as that. Yeah, they definitely don't approve. And because she's a woman as well, my god. assistant director wasn't listed anywhere in the police regulations. Oh, it was invented to suit in this particular purpose. Oh, right, it's not unusual for the National Police Agency to dispatch their, dispatch their executive candidates to small and medium-sized jurisdictions as part of their training. Yeah, that's actually really quite interesting, so I wonder if um, Tomoe being at the Kakiyoshi Police Station is part of her training to, I don't know, just become a much bigger rank overall. The, the goal is to help them advance their career by gaining a valuable experience soon. Oh yeah, conducting real on-site investigations. Yeah, fair. However, even though the candidates in those cases are often knowledgeable, they, can, they tend to come with a strong sense of elitism, so they rarely know when to shut their mouths or accept discipline. Oh, oh right. Yeah, that is actually fair enough, because they're so high up in the ranks and they've done, you know, they've done so well in policing that, yeah. Maybe it is just going to go a little bit too far for some people. And on top of that, they often engage in passionate, antagonistic speech and conduct um, and conduct to make themselves feel more important, which becomes a nuisance for those around them. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, oh, that must be really quite annoying. Yeah, just thinking. Yeah, being bossed around by some young know-it-all. <laughs> He's young know-it-all. <laughs> Coming from de for detectives um, with experience in the field. Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, but at the same time it's work, they have to accept it. So instead of welcoming, welcoming them with an open attitude, they scornfully refer to those candidates as, oh, Damn, it's field trip students behind their backs. Of course, the detectives on site embrace similar feelings towards Tomoe. Oh my god. Yeah. Even though she was a beautiful young lady, they had they had an unfavourable opinion of her. Yeah. However, once they heard stories about how Tomoe was assigned the assistant director post, they couldn't help but sympathise and ask, Aren't you pushing yourself too hard? Hmm. Yeah, I guess the assistant director. Oh, yeah, I've been six years. 
全然結果出せなくて課長補佐止まりで。It's like enough to pass his promotion exam and become chief inspector, but never had the results to go for section chief. Oh, right. Tenen my no itch in the cake. Hakuzuke n i t s u And he had the title just a year from retirement. I'm simply to make him look more important. Oh, that's interesting, I suppose. Earning a title, biggest, earning the biggest title you've ever earned in your life a year before retirement. That's definitely going to indicate to the people up high that you will never stop working as hard as you have done, even when you're nearing retirement. And that probably means higher pension, let's be honest here. あの堀口のじいさんって次長になってから毎日暇そうに机に座って新聞ばっか読んでたっけ。だ。The That's actually really quite bad luck. So, the previous assistant director, he was completely shit at his job. So, yeah. That's really not going to be a good impression they're going to have of me now. Hmm, it wasn't an official position anyway, so it had no authority over the detectives within the station. Oh, right. And more importantly, it had no actual responsibilities. Oh, and on top of that, the role didn't command any subordinate detectives. It was an honorary position that simply left them hanging there. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, but I suppose、um, Tomoe has actually decided, you know, her subordinates, just from her impressions and experiences, really. No matter how much it pays, I can't. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My God, it must pay a lot. No matter how much it pays, I can't help but pity anyone in the assistant. Sorry, Mr. Moore. Yeah, my God. Yeah, I just genuinely. I can't believe that with a matter as serious as this. I mean, come on. This is a police station. This organizes, you know, the crime of an entire region. People should be taking their job more seriously. And the fact that he can, you know, graduate to this really, really high paid position and yet he can just do nothing at the same time. That's insane. It was an order the, from the deputy chief. I assume it was because the assistant、um, section chief role would be too high for this executive candidate. Even if the candidate is too low for it, I might have pushed her at the window seat like normal. Ordinarily, it's customary for, it's customary for a quasi career group detective at the chief inspector level、um, to be assigned the post of bottom section chief of a criminal investigation division.、Hmm. Indeed, when a case springs up requiring a wide, investiga wide area investigator's involvement, there's a position that can give orders to everyone involved. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. Even as high as the chief of the precinct. I don't know what, what is a precinct. Of、oh, a district,、um, of a city or town defined as defined for a policing purpose. Wow, God, that really is quite something. That she has so much power, seriously, and she does really, really good things with it. Definitely better than this old guy, Hori something, not Hori Yama. <laughs> Who is Hori Yama? Because I remember that name from somewhere, I think. 
Oh, hang on a second. Does that mean I've got to see the guy from the Child Consultation Centre? No, I thought he had a different name. I can't remember. No, it, it's got to be. It's got to be. God, I fucking hate Bing. Doesn't even give me a search result relevant. Never mind. Maybe, maybe it could have been because I was getting something wrong, but I don't know. I search Hodiyama Higadashi, and then I get Hodiyama anime. Look, my god, I literally searched Higadashi in the title. It's just so stupid. <laughs> surprised me that you know this um, applies to the assistant section and chief role is too high I mean if his work ethic is like this I don't really think he's going to be able to let's just say ascend the ranks easily <laughs> oh occurs. Oh right, nevertheless, um, being placed in a position outside the norm is usually is an unusual deviation and seemingly driven by malicious intentions. Hmm. Shikata <laughs> Naisa. the Yamaoki was the person that, you know, invited her. Yeah, I'd assume that let's just say he has a little bit of bias because of, you know, other class. <laughs> it can't be helped. After all, she was invited directly by TV Yamaoki. <laughs> Yeah, I really wonder if there could potentially be some bias there. Who knows? This is getting unbelievable. Having such a small police station and factions in fighting. I don't think it's a small police station and factions in fighting. Absolutely. Hmm, even though they were thinking um, that none of them were willing to stand up and oppose it. Oh yeah, definitely. If they did, they probably would lose their jobs. After all, getting involved with um, with like eavesdropping on somebody else's affairs. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and it would end the ire of upper management. But we will um, we'll return to my formal post at the National Police Agency as soon as the training period ends. Oh, that's interesting. So I really wonder where she's actually going to go once she's finished everything here. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. In which case, there's no point in fighting a righteous battle of justice. Yeah. Well, that's actually really quite interesting though. I mean, it really just shows how much of an important job policing is. Like, you have to, for if you actually want to hire, work up um, and obviously become higher up in the ranks, then you have to do so much training that you have to basically completely change the entirety of your life for, I don't know, like for example, I mean, Tom Wise, I know she's in, um, you know, areas around here, numbers are in 1982, 1983 as well. So it's easily two years. In her case, at least. Two year training somewhere. I mean, not, that must be really quite nuts. Having a job so important that you need to go to a different place just for training for two years. I mean, or, or more, who knows? Simply watched her from afar, watched from afar, and didn't get themselves involved. Oh right, yeah, getting involved with them um, simply taking a gamble, um, gamble, and how it would play out. Hmm. De, 
They really have quite bad, um, um, they really do have quite bad expectations of her. I really wonder if that she's actually going to disprove them because, yeah. How, so how do you think this field trip should return now? Should she go crying to the Jiji Jiji District Station? So then, then after that, she will get reassigned to another station. Then after that, she will get reassigned to another station. These people are definitely going to be placed. Yeah. They're not going to be disappointed yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, this person is not somebody that is going to fuck around. No way. これはとりあえず何かの実績に便乗するまで長いバカンスだと思って適当に過ごすと思うけどな。God, they really are quite brutal. I mean, their impressions are just so inaccurate to what the player is actually going to do, though. Do ka na? Karya woman ってのはとにかく男社会に対して攻撃的で自意識過剰だからな。I wonder about that. Career um, women sometimes feel self-conscious about um, working in a male-dominated society. Gun gun, 上にも下にもぶつかって。盛大に絡まわりし続けるんじゃないかいや、ミントモエスコンとビコシンヤセフソーマッチで、フライドがガタガタになって落ち込んでる彼女を慰めて、くどい血まうってかドラマの見過ぎだってのそうそう、ユー
A Kakiyuti. Oh my god, I really wonder if we're actually going to be able to find the significance of Kakiyuti Airport and why Tomoe's father wanted, you know, every Wednesday. Every Wednesday in June, um, Tomoe actually went there to potentially uncover um, something her father was writing when he died. Um, the Kakiyuti police station wasn't was in charge of all cases in the area. Oh, right. So the criminal investigation department had to be divided in two in order to manage the large quantity of cases. God damn, that is a lot. Wow. That must be really quite hard work. The first a criminal investigation division is headed by the mild-mannered um, section chief Yamamada. Hmm. And the second criminal investigation division has section chief Okabe. Oh, at the top right. Interesting. At the moment, the former is responsible for burglary and general enforcement, and the later, um, and the latter handles intelligence and violent cases. All oh, right. Although in a city of this size, it can be difficult to clearly distinguish the two. Oh yeah, yeah, fair. So in reality, their investigation activities compete with one one another for territory. Oh, and the detectives belonging to um, each party despise those in the other party. Oh God, the firelight cast not really damn. God, that's actually really quite surprising. Yeah, that's why his second um, division chief Okabe's mood would sour any time the first division performer. Oh yeah, fair enough, yeah. 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 Mm. I love it. <laughs> God, it sounds so disgusting, but at the same time, it just really shows how much this guy detests them. What are the people in the second division doing? Oh, right. Oh, okay. So they're actually investigating the second division uh, um, supporting. Joint investigation is headed by um, Prefectural Police Headquarters, which is taking out the majority of their time. Alright. Oh, Thanks to that progress on other investigations. Oh, I get it. Right, I get it. That's enough. Oh, oh yeah, you definitely doesn't sound <laughs> thrilled to hear that. <laughs> I'll be, um, brittily spell those words out. When Prefectural Headquarters submitted a request for a joint investigation, he was the one who um, pushed for the second division to handle it in the first place, hoping to earn points in the process. Oh, wow. Hmm. So hearing that the, the, the delay in um, the proceedings was ultimately his fault, only wasn't his move. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, damn. Oh, that's the first division, sounds really quite good. So, I wonder if the first division is the one that um, Tomoe is in. No, wait, hang on a second, I think it is. Yeah, that's really quite funny. They're probably going to see more and more of a, you know, disadvantage in competition when the night comes. I really wouldn't be surprised. Oh oh okay. Okabe is definitely, I can get the impression that he's not going to be very happy after hearing this, let's just say that. And there were four, another four cases where detectives apprehended criminals and handed them over to HQ, even if incidents were directly involved. God. Wow. That's really yeah, yeah, that's really quite interesting. So you know, the amount of productivity they're getting out, and how many people they're catching as well. 
completely increased once um, Tom Moyer joined. Funny that, isn't it? <laughs> thanks for that. Thanks for that. I got the high army of the Mumbo investigation team has been watching that woman closely. He's even starting calling her princess. <laughs> princess, huh? <laughs> hey, yeah, what a ridiculous name. No, no, I know. Why would you call somebody at work that? I mean, I think calling somebody that in, you know, I don't know, for example, some sort of relationship. I think that's weird enough. But in work, God. <laughs> それだけ実力を認めているということだと思います。実際県警の道島課長は飛行式ではありますが山奥所長に彼女の捜査一課での引き受けを本気で打診したとのことで。最初に道島さんが飛行式での捜査一課での引き受けを本気で打診したとのこと
Yeah, God, it's insane. And um, she majored in psychology and did language studies at a national university. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, so she was um, capable of fluently explaining um, investigation policies to others. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I wonder if she actually um, did English as well. Wow. Additionally, she kept herself busy by writing numerous papers on improving investigation methodology. Um, met methodology. And um, Professor of Police staff always assessed her well when reporting back to the National Police Agency. Yeah, yeah, she was a gifted woman. I couldn't agree more, yeah. I mean... Hmm. That's actually really quite surprising. So she could potentially... Could you imagine if um, some of the, you know, things that she actually has written that she reckons may improve, you know, the methods of w in which police actually used to investigate? Could you imagine if some of them have actually completely changed, like, the entirety of policing? Um, in the area, I mean, it could be likely. In fact, her exceptional evaluations alone were enough to carry her through national tests. Jesus Christ. That's insane. She was on the quasi career path, but if she had taken the national tests on the career path, she would probably be serving as a police bureaucrat by now. That is fucking high. That really is. I mean, a police bureaucrat, I'm assuming that's probably, like, so high that you could potentially be talking politics of the country. I mean, God. In other words, the only part of making Don Wise's career advancement was the fact that yeah, my god, yeah, that's so awful, yeah. Besides that, there was nothing mysterious about her success. Yeah. <sighs> oh god, yeah, 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 yeah. They said the recommended group title was just a show. Hmm. The National Police Agency um, trained specialists in the recommended group where they, um, was a handbook from jurisdictional offices. Oh, right. The so-called quasi-career path. Hmm. Don't mind making it um, through that navigator such a young age caused a scandal since it politic essentially prom prompts the um, promotion of the role of police to the role of police inspector. Hmm. So Okabe had a completely different outlook. So it's really the police. Um, she promote people after years of service, regardless of how hard the they work. Give them a long reception over time. Oh, that's interesting. So, because obviously she hasn't done years of service and, you know, she's really quite new, then he definitely would be opposed to it. Little, she's literally. She's in probably. Well, she's nearly thirty. <laughs> Thinking about it made me feel, made him feel um, downhearted. The police force is an organisation where academic background and starting position matter more than performance and experience. Hmm, that's interesting. That I mean, obviously you can't have one without the other, but yeah, you need academic background definitely. And when it comes to personnel administration, career advancement is often um, determined more by political factions and power relations. Oh. In fact, Don Mai received a major um, boost for attending Kasumai University. Oh, following the advice of other alumni. Why? As a result, Wakabe was unable to set aside the jealousy from his inferiority to this blessed little girl. He was deeply frustrated. Oh. Hmm. They say a house falls when the hen cries louder than the cock. Yeah. <laughs> So the one maybe maybe get his end. <laughs> that's actually really quite funny. So he's the cocker, he's the guy that's been doing this shit for years. And obviously he's really quite high up himself, but yeah, not nearly as high as up as um Tom Moore. Yeah. And that's interesting. So he thinks things could be potentially coming to an end. I think definitely the competition element is going to be coming to an end of, you know, um his side of the police station.
I suppose the whole, um, you know, factions being at a key point in terms of um, just how much you're actually going to be able to, um, you know, advance in your career. It really just shows how much academic background matters. And secondly, yeah, um, can either be an advantage or a real disadvantage. But at the same time, I think the one definitely deserves this advantage because of how many disadvantages, disadvantages she's, you know, going to get for being female. うん。若い子娘が大きな顔で桜のダイモンを振りかざすようでは警察の威厳も落ちたというものだ。うん、interesting. So, yeah, of course, I can have strong feelings on it, but yeah, God. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, fair enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Be that as it may, there's no proving her. Um, no denying her proven track. Oh, that really is good. Even, uh, even among our seven, second division staff, they say that it's just in the Minai's skills and insights far surpass that those of a typical field trip student. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not very good thing to say to, I'd assume, your boss, but yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, no, no, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, this is what I got in the last crime scene. Of course, he might got flustered inside making his users after all. Can't be. Scornfully at him. Oh my god, you do not want to get this person, man. I mean, he's probably quite a nice person, but yeah. <laughs> Definitely scary if you get mad. If he gets mad, sorry. Um, for someone so normally um loyal to him as Kozima, um, for somebody so normally loyal to him as Kozima, to say that um that meant the things he said here could very well be the cause of a concern. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Chief Yamaki came here from um Central one year ago, and clearly was um. On bad times with um, Deputy Chef Chief Hotter, who was um, a local rising through the ranks. It was alleged that personnel staff aggressively pushed to have Yamaki transferred here from his former post of public security. Oh, which completely eliminated Hotter's chances of becoming the next chief. But from then on, the police department was completely divided into two factions with Okabe and um, the second division's detectives um, supporting the detective. Deputy Chiefs faction and the General Affairs and Transportation Division supporting the Chiefs faction. Oh, wow. Right. Meanwhile, the first criminal division um, headed by um, Section Chief Yamamada tried to stay out of the faction wars and place themselves in the neutral faction. Hmm. Aggressively pushed though, fucking hell. Still worried they would learn they would lean towards the chief's faction at some point in the future. As a result, he was um, staunchly opposed when the chief proposed proposed um, didn't, um, assigning Tom Moore um, a post to Kakuyuzi Station, assisting the section chief of the first division. Oh, right. 
やはりいくら優秀でも若年に加えて女性ですからな This is really quite interesting that so many people here, even though they have, you know, all of their、uh, whole policing、um, careers, they're just really born on, you know, police spirit and just how much they can actually make them make of their career, really, and how much talent and you know, confidence they actually have. But at the same time, even though this person has all of that, just because she's a woman, it doesn't matter. All of her skills do not matter just because she's a woman. I mean, it really is fucked, but yeah, this is the way of the world. and... The 1980s, though, it really is quite surprising. You would have thought that things like this would be slowly steering to the equality we have today, but no. She's not added. He's like, I don't know, she's trying to be concerned for her. I mean, it really doesn't make much sense. Hmm. <laughs> However, Hata believed on my,、um, to be a member of the chief's faction. Oh, God. So that must be. So his real intention was to separate Tom Moya from the first division and stop Chief Yamaki from, explaining, from expanding his influence. God, it really is like a bloody war. <laughs> Yeah, although Okabe was also opposed to、um, transferring her to the second division, even if that would place her under the deputy chief, chief's faction. Oh, interesting. I wonder why that. Oh, right. Oh, that's understandable. That was because her abilities were still unknown. It, that was because her abilities were、um, still unknown. It was a big risk to bring aboard somebody who, as inexperienced as her. And if she screwed up, he was、um, concerned that she could do anything to damage his image. I mean, that is understandable, yeah. But at the same time, the abilities are definitely unknown. They do not know how,、um, you know, how much of a disadvantage they are going to be at just because they haven't done this. He'd simply underestimated it. Oh my god, I couldn't agree more. As a result,、um, Hata、um, strongly campaigned for Tomoe to be given the honorary de- citizen director post, a do nothing position intended to keep her out of the way. Oh my god, wow! That's actually really quite funny. So, the person that was against、um, you know, her gave her you know, one of the most, I don't know, looked down on、um, positions just so she would have a big hurdle when, you know, when actually joining the police force here. But yeah. That may have been a mistake just because of how much influence she has now. Up until then, everything was good. Yeah, they are idiots. Yeah. However, Hataka and Mopa and Kabe miscalculated. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. They, th- they thought the Yamamada was neutral, but he sat- suddenly、um, invited Tom Wai to serve as the Chief of Special Affairs within the First Division. Oh, right, delegating her investigative authority. Oh, oh incidentally, the title of、um, Chief of Special Affairs is. A specially appointed role originally intended for experienced police officers to serve as an advisor to the section chief on a part time basis. Oh my god, allegedly.
However, that the role was originally designed to be given to retirees, so um, very few duty police officers have been given the position at all. Oh yeah, that's understandable. I mean, even more so the fact that um, you know, the position would have actually been. なんでも見ない警部は欧米式の捜査手法について色々と知識が終わりのようですからあとは自分たちが何を発信するのかを実際に学ばせるいい機会だと思いますいやいやこれは良いことです Oh, that's interesting, that. Yeah. Wow. Carrying out an outright act of rebellion against the lights of Hata and Okabe. Yeah, I'm actually really quite surprising. Yeah, he is really quite surprising. Who disgustingly, with whose disgustingly uptight personalities were quick to harass these field. Oh god, yeah. However, that decision improved the efficient efficacy of um, Don Moyer's behavioral analysis um, investigation methodology in no time at all. Oh, right. Consequently, the um, first division's performance improved remarkably when Finn just a single month. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, even Yamabula was astonished by how much the results exceeded his expectations. <sighs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, that's definitely why... I mean, she could have potentially joined the second division, but... Yep, that is why you don't assume things. <laughs> he bitterly lamented the mistake he made back then. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. If Tom Moore had been assigned to the second division, the department would have had an excellent assistant um, for the section chief, rather than a man like Kortima who blindly followed up. Oh god, so yeah, the second division really is quite worse than the first one. Yeah, who blindly followed orders. Their evaluations would have been completely reversed. Yeah, definitely. I wonder if they're actually thinking about it. I wonder if the um, second division, just because they have somebody that basically half arses stuff. Um, I wonder if they need it more than the first division. Oh, I don't know, really. I mean, they actually have someone, whereas the First Division, they never really had someone before. And even if that wasn't the case, he would have um, had the power to limit her actions. Oh, God, yeah, but Okabe also understood the folly of looking at things in hindsight. Oh, yeah, 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 anyway, Section Chief Okabe, what is it? Well, there's something I've been wondering all this time. Oh, yeah, interesting that they're actually finding it. Why are assistant director Mina and Chief Yamaoki so tightly knit? Oh no, I really hope, especially because these are faction, you know. I, I don't really want to say what's their conflicts, but yeah. If they realise this, I get the impression they're in. Their um, views of Tom Moyer, yeah, they make it a lot worse. Hmm. Thinking about it logically, even if she were a member of the Chief's faction, her speech and conduct is. That's merely an act for the people around me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, in particular for a younger sister. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. I think that was a really good. That was a really good transition. You know, just getting all this confusing police faction stuff. That let's be honest, who understands a single bit of it? 
I mean, you understand it, but you are you really going to retain you uh, retain stuff like that? <laughs> as much stuff as that, but yep, got all the confusing information out with a bloody sneeze. <laughs> well, not a bloody one, I hope, but yeah, if this, if it's a bloody sneeze, then it's going to be very likely she's coughing up blood, which yeah, I don't really think that'll be a good thing. <laughs> Tomoe has got to be the only person who has ever sneezed in Higurashi though, seriously. <laughs> Not even the club members, which actually really quite surprises me. <laughs> After changing shoes, uh, clothes, and um, walking down the hallway, Tomoe um, held her hands to her nose and sneezed. As soon as she said, the remnants of her own earlier uh, nose bleed came out and this smell put a frown on her face. Oh, that is a nightmare. <laughs> is someone talking about me? And Tomoe suddenly shook her head for saying um, something so ridiculous. Oh, one of her defining principles was not to believe in superstition. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. Do not get paranoia. And do not let it get the best of you. Definitely a good thing you will need when going to Hinami Zawa. Ah, Tadaima. Oh, yeah. ah, oh okay, my god. Okay. I did not know we would ever see Maroka out of her police outfit. Uh, she has. It actually looks kind of good on her, I think. I don't know. I don't really. The only thing that looks totally shit about her outfit is the belt, but everything else, yeah, it actually looks quite cool. Stop by opening the door to the break room. Maloka got up from one of the seats and called out to her. Yeah, she's definitely off duty. <laughs> was she ready to head out for the day? She was already dressed in civilian clothes. Yeah. Hey, Madoka. Seriously? You know, it's illegal to conduct work at a police facility when not in uniform. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, actually, yeah. I mean, they kind of are at work. I think it's... Let's just say it is relevant. <laughs> oh my god, and even after I um, put in over time to deal with Fujitasan's scramble. Okay, I feel bad for her. Oh my god. You work overtime just to deal with somebody's, you know, rants. Oh my god. I mean, to be fair, that is a good thing to do because, yeah. They're probably in really stressful periods, so having somebody to talk to and about really will be helpful. I wonder if the person that Tomoe thought was talking about um, her was potentially, you know, um, I keep wanting to say Okinaw, the person that actually the person whose faction was, um, I don't know, the person that was having weird factional changes after the gas disaster. I think he retired and then um, people from completely unrelated factions, you know, filled in. And maybe that could have some sort of relevance to Nomura, who knows? Or Tokyo. <laughs> Monica shrugged her shoulders and bitterly smiled as she said that. Her face looks fatigued. So it seemed reasonable for her to be agitated. <laughs> so, yeah. Speaking of Fujitakun, where is he? Oh, he had a time for now. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, my God, he probably would have been um, over at work for a lot longer than intended. <sighs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, my God, yeah. At least say a few words to me before heading home. Oh, my God. Whatever happened, he was looking at me like a total stranger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he kept repeating, apologize to the assistant director. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. So I really wonder if me and I um, actually pushing Fujita too much has actually resulted in this. Anyway, he um, kept repeating, apologize to the assistant director. I understand how you feel, but you can't push him around that much. <laughs> I haven't pushed him around. Not yet. Hmm. Kinda. You say something good, 
and then you just completely contradict any potential goodness it has in the conversation. <laughs> Well, the truth is, she intended to say that a bit sarcastically, but she starts depression made it hard to lash out at him in a full, full demon start. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Hmm. I suppose it's anyway. Yeah, I thought I brought a can of coffee from the vending machine while muttering that to herself. She immediately pushed the hot button, and before remembering that it was already autumn. <laughs> you want to? One, two, Madoka. Hmm. Hmm, I'm gonna go out to eat after this, but, well, why not? I'll have, um, oolong tea, come. Aye, aye. Sure thing. That's actually really quite cool that you can get vending machine coffee. I mean, I've never seen that in England before. Don Wai inserted a coin and pushed um, the button for oolong tea. Once the sound of the falling can rang out, she grabbed the can and tossed it with a flick of her wrist. <laughs> I so hope she doesn't catch it. What? Oh, what do I owe you? Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's actually really quite funny, that. Yeah, if you've worked over time. Have a free coffee. Well, not coffee, tea, but like, yeah. A free hot drink. <laughs> you've got one thing that's good. So now you try and get another thing, <laughs> and then you get another thing, and then you get another thing, and then it never stops. <laughs> Marikon um, pulled the tab as she said that, then chugged two big gulps. The cold sensation across her throat felt comforting. Mm, yeah, fair enough, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, you look like a disaster, too. Just... Fujita san to Isoni Harikomi stayed at Okoro. Uaki Gemba to Machina Rilan and Tetsu. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody thought you and Fujita Kun uh, or San um, just got back from the local hookups. <laughs> 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 what, what were you doing? <laughs> Oh my god. It was awfully noisy nearby, so I had to leave my face close to his ear to talk to him. That's all of us. <laughs> I mean, obviously, she's going to see this as some sort of work related thing. You know, work, duty, even though it's awkward, it has to be done. Yeah, I don't really think he's seen it the same way. Oh, but it looked like a kiss to her, huh? <laughs> Talk about cliched. <laughs> Even her again, it was a ludicrous story. Recently, his wife had started to become suspicious of him saying he was working overtime and coming in the home late. Oh, so she started following him. Well, that didn't seem like an unusual thing for a jealous woman to do. But she pushed herself into their secret meeting place at a coffee shop, which was actually a stakeout, and released a... Oh, God. Oh, that's awful. And released her full fury on Don Moya based on the misunderstanding that she was this mistress. Naturally, Madoka was amazed. It would have been nice to get an actual explanation for stooping to such measures. Oh, hmm. oh my God. So, yeah, that really, God, that really explains why um, Fujita was actually, you know, in a really stressful situation there. God, that must be rough. He was genuinely doing over time though. You really think he's going to be seeing Tom <laughs> Like, God, I think that's a little bit unlikely. Oh my god, though, this is horrible. That is the worst. That is seriously the worst. 
I mean, you can be in bad situations, but... Yeah, situations like that. Oh my god, the end of Yoigoshi where, you know, obviously, um, Arakawa is just, you know, putting, you know, putting Miyuki really, really close to him, potentially asking for a proposal, even though obviously he doesn't know that, um, she has a husband already. And then Akasaka coming in right that second, right before the suppo uh, supposed proposal. <laughs> Coffee shop, which was actually a stakeout. <laughs> oh god, I feel bad for Tom White. So, has is this actually the reason why this fight had happened in the first place? Because that is a nightmare. <laughs> why do you have to get paired with somebody so clingy? Oh. Jesus, apparently they were old friends from elementary school. Oh, and stop bringing it up. <laughs> oh god, yeah, you're not exactly in a position to be talking about others, you know. Oh, my bad. Manoka quietly backed off when she noticed her jab got deeper than expected. Mm, after all, as far as the public was concerned, Manoka's partner was even more surprised. Oh, yeah, 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 my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, the big event of the event was that the event of the event was that the event of the event was that the event of the event was that God, then an intense argument broke out at the coffee shop. Oh, hell broke loose because the key witness just happened to be visiting that coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then Hujita carelessly let out the words, let the word steakout slip, steakout slip out. Um, Steak out, slip out. <laughs> that just sounds like some really cheesy slogan that some company would use. I don't know. I mean, obviously, it wouldn't make any sense, but still. So the witness realized that the detectives were present and ran away. Oh my god, which caused the chase to break out. God. Really, this one's surprising. Oh, naturally, we couldn't let him escape. On a mama, you get a letter, said Tai Kai Sarate, Shokobuts, my inmates, Sarate, Kano Segatashi. Hmm. I'm genuinely confused. Yes, yeah, so I'm assuming, obviously, the um, wife had actually visited the coffee shop and obviously argued with Tomoe and then things had developed further when, I don't know, some male person had actually got involved. I don't really understand the full detail, but yeah. Hmm. Oh, interesting. We have to take the chance. Destroy evidence? Destroy evidence of what? I mean... Is there potentially something? <laughs> they just ignore me. <laughs> oh my god, did Jake leave root her shoulders? As usual, she couldn't take a joke. <laughs> Still, Tom Moore, um came out ahead on that risky bet. Oh, the witness drew a knife while trying to resist. So that violation of swords and firearms control or allowed them to search his pockets. Oh, and as luck would have it, they found a business notebook and evidence among his belongings. I later found that he was stopping off at the coffee shop to make a call on his way to meet a business co partner. Hmm. Well, that definitely didn't happen in the end. Although, pre although Prefectural Police HQ already had a head start on the case, handing the culprit over hasn't the resolution of a big name drug trading operation. Jesus Christ. Wow. That's ridiculous. Demo. 
その頃藤田さんは地獄だったんだって、oh, yeah. Yeah. どんな感じだったの How was he taking it? Uh, 戻った時には奥さんはいなくて、oh. Oh. 藤田君は床に体育座りしてたからな Um, Kuhn was sitting down on the floor of his arms. Oh, Master, no, Hanas, that's all his knees. Okimari, no, Anata, or Koroste, what does she want to get? Gahazimat, the Tarashiwa, yo. Oh, God, the manager said the incident started with a routine. I'll kill you and run. Yeah, what does she want to see? No, Matching, I guess. Wouldn't end up um, more, uh, more like I'll die, too. Ninget, the dozen, yo. Yeah, my God. Yeah, what would he even do if he escaped? Ceremoniously threw that out and then let out a heavy sigh. That was Hoodie's Down being Hoodie's Down, this being says, Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all just speculation, but my I could understand how both of them have both of them were thinking. Indeed, if you saw your husband having a good time with another woman, prettier than you, oh, yeah, yeah, you'd inevitably fall into a panic and feel self conscious. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that really is unfortunate, yeah. For somebody with such an old fashioned mindset, she has absolutely no idea how pretty she is. The sister sim was failing to recognize how good she actually looked. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's why she could never imagine herself getting caught up in matters of love. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If she only、um, recognized herself a little bit, it was a woman. Yeah, my God, that's actually really quite surprising. I mean, a key figure in you know, a really big drug trading operation. I mean, that really is quite something. If they have. The leader, then I mean, obviously, the people、um, in charge of the drug operation they will be able to they will be able to reinforce themselves, but still, very good beginning. Anyway, you did a good job catching me. Jesus, the couple was a pretty fake job. I track and field competitor, right? I don't know, I did track and field too, you know. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, I mean, that is fair enough. So she would have been able to have a chance at,、um, and especially because she was one of the most,、um, she was, she could potentially become one of the most experienced athletes in the country if, you know, if she didn't abandon everything for, you know, Madoka and her future. Yeah, that's brilliant. Even though your diet is so fucking bad, but let's just not mention that. Even if you didn't hide up, how does that have anything to do with endurance? What if you're doing it more than once? It's a joke. Oh, just ignore me. <laughs> God, she's so easily admitting it as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I heard that, yeah, I don't even think you could tell me that it was a joke and I would understand what you were joking about. I mean, obviously, I can because I can just read this and take however long I want to, wanted to on it. But yeah, I couldn't do that in a real conversation. As she said, that mother girl was too embarrassed to tell her sister she expected as much. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It would be impossible for an ordinary detective to track down and catch a perpetrator with it. Intimate knowledge of the area who was capable of breaking through a blockade. <laughs> hmm. And when a retreating opponent draws a military knife, it would be absurd to fight them off completely bare hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Not even armed with a baton. But she apprehended him anyway. It was a mate. Jesus Christ. That's ridiculous. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. I mean, the thing is, even though this is very admirable and really quite something, yeah, it's a little bit fucking dangerous. There is a thing called a life, and it may be taken if this happens. Indeed, this was this, and Mother Car was Mother Car. Yeah. Her sister probably felt the same way. She couldn't impose her values about police, on, police duties on others. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mother Car was thankful for that. By the way. This sounds like a real change of atmosphere all of a sudden. 
これから外食だって言ってたわよね。Oh, no, well, you you were going out to eat 相手は誰 ?Why is she asking? That's actually really quite funny that she knows it's with somebody. Oh my god, if I kind of get the impression because of how reckless Tomoe's values are, if they were actually imposed on others, then yeah, she wouldn't be very, let's just say, respected. <laughs> Yeah, she ogled me laugh while clinging to herself while chiding herself deep in her heart. <laughs> I was suspected of the shrewd, best in class princess of Kahiyazi Station. <laughs> A trifling misstatement could cost you your life. Um, that's, you know. So. <laughs> that's just genuinely so funny that she feels as if she is literally like, I don't know. A bodyguard at this point, just so you're aware. If you lie to me, I'll get upset, okay? Oh, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Fair enough, that depends on the circumstances. <laughs> yep, like for example, Yamaoki. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, <laughs> I just love her face. You can just really tell how mischievous she is from it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's embarrassing! Maybe you could do a thing called run. <laughs> Not a couple's confident that the current situation fits and fitted into fits into these um, circumstances. And um, so she doesn't arise back and forth, stuck in place, unable to tell the truth or a lie. Oh god. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, or enough. Ah, enough. She wished their values matched up when it came to this too. <laughs> oh, my good would be. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, definitely. You don't want to start any scandals. My god. <laughs> she tried to think of the name of another colleague, anyone appropriate, but she quickly gave up on that idea. She used that trick before and things turned sour the next day. Oh, oh, oh my god, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, Tomoe was reasonably upset. If this was anything like that case, Mother would deeply regret it later on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 some misunderstanding. Maybe she's just, I don't know, going to get a takeaway. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I agree, he isn't a bad person. I mean, she's good at being a base, I suppose. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, of course, he's just saying nothing. Uh, uh, no, no, no matter what, what she said is useless. <laughs> With that in mind, Monica was always thinking about what she said to apologize to her partner, Yamaki, who was already waiting for her. Oh my god. You do not want to keep a man at dinner, waiting at dinner. Oh my god. Why is she not? Already gone. Why has he actually had this conversation with Domoe? Holy shit. <laughs> she should not be doing this. Ma, oh. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> but surprisingly enough, Domoe was unusually um, conciliatory and didn't pry any further. I thought that reaction, Madoka turned and stared blankly in her direction. How are you doing on top? Yeah, that's just genuinely so surprising. I mean, I really thought that. You know, just judging from that beforehand, this could potentially be something really quite. Let's just say it was a sticky situation, but no. That's surprising. That is even more surprising. What? <laughs> no, that's not necessary. Oh, yeah, definitely not. Maybe this could all be a bluff and. 
I don't know, maybe Tom Moy could secretly be thinking, I want to fucking ruin this, but she's not a dickhead, she wouldn't do that. But are you saying you're okay with me going? <laughs> <laughs> That's really quite funny though, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter if I am or not. You already have a reservation, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You don't want to waste money. You don't want to make the lives of people at the, I don't know, the restaurant more inconvenienced. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> As you know, that Madoka gave to um, Tom Moy a lot of partial trust, but full blown suspicion. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just genuinely surprising. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> it was weird. She was unusually understanding. Extremely like, Why is it. Why is her character changed this much all of all of a sudden? Yeah, it was right up with the. Um, within the station. Oh my god. You know shit's bad when even the sta the whole station knows about it. Wow. wow. Um, the Tom was physically opposed to Monokai's in that engagement to Chief Almaki. Yeah, yeah. Earlier she got into an argument with Monokai inside the chief's office and made a huge uproar, ranting and saying things like, think about his age, he's a senile old man. I mean, true, but at the same time, yeah, she doesn't really care. <laughs> oh my god, that's actually fair enough, yeah. Yeah, she probably would have, but yeah, I suppose that is kind of one of the advantages she has of being so high up. Yeah, she isn't the one that's told what to do. She is the one that's telling people what to do. <laughs> and with that in mind, somehow Maroka feel, felt like acting on um, Tom Moya's words would be falling into a trap. She felt anxious. Hmm. What's this? Ano, you understand, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I know. 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 I no, I mean, um, yeah, isn't this the part where you usually, like, get really mad? <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, 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 what's a good work did she do? She, she had absolutely no idea if this conversation was a trap. She accepted it at face value and thank her for her trust before going, or maybe... Yeah, why are you really so deep in this? It's just weird. The fact that she's shown this attitude that she's never shown before, it really is quite odd. Not normally? I would have thought she'd, this would be the time where she'd normally storm out because they'd be annoyed at having an argument. At having had an argument. <laughs> huh. Tomoe let out a sign and turned to Madoka. Then she shrugged her shoulders and gently fiddled with the empty coffee can in her hands and spoke up. Ma. <laughs> Oh, that's really nice. I'm actually really quite surprised that she's seeing this so early on. I mean, to be fair, in Kageboshi, um, we did actually see, you know, um, Madoka, you know, finally getting um, Tomoe's approval. I can't remember what actually led to that. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that, Mike. I just noticed my alt key was really quite dusty, so I wanted to, you know, clean it a little bit. But, yeah, I don't really think that'll work. <laughs> That's actually really quite nice that, you know, even though she thinks the romantic life is ridiculous, she still is tolerable with it. That's tolerant of it, even. That's really quite nice. When it comes to your marriage, I wouldn't say anything more. I'm not exactly cheering you on, but I won't get in your way. That's nice, yeah. In the, in the end, this is your decision to my mother. Call. Oh, that's brilliant, yeah. <laughs> a gleeful sm yeah this is really quite funny um yeah things like this it really must be quite magical especially because of how surreal you know Tom Moya actually accepting something she has never accepted before it would be a gleeful smile um, spread across Madoka's face and she struggled to hold back the tears running up 
Wow. Oh my god, this must really mean something to her. If anybody else had heard that, it probably wouldn't have been a big deal. Yeah, but still, this is the first time um, that Moya ever showed a positive attitude towards their relationship. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't agree more. Yeah, of course, it was a rather sudden development and that, and she was still buff. Yeah, yeah, she's probably just so happy that, you know, she's just really, really cross. Yeah, yeah, I really wonder what actually did. But she was thankful to hear her say it and she was glad. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think it's really quite nice that Tom Moya has been, you know changed i really wonder how she's actually been changed maybe it was actually the incident with hujita um it really i don't know really let her see the importance of love and why it shouldn't really be stopped or prevented or made to be more difficult than it already is and then i'll get going Thanks, oh, is this the time where she reveals her trap what is it no it's nothing Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm genuinely surprised. I thought that, that could potentially be something, but no. <laughs> no, it's nothing. Take care. Uh? Yep. Then Maruka leapt out of the break room at a quick pace. Yeah, she sounds really quite happy. Oh, that's really good. Again, I couldn't ask. Mata oh, shit, I wonder what this actually is about. She sank deep into the cheap armchair, leaned back and looked up at the ceiling. The flickering fluorescent lights flashed the shadow of the shadows of the bugs flying in the night. Hmm. Even though it should be hot enough to burn them, but they couldn't defy their instinctual attraction to light. God, that really is quite surprising. But yeah, they can't. But we're bitterly smiled as she watched them. Then that's how a heavy sigh. Not a bad person, huh? Know that even longer than you. Oh, interesting. Yeah, Asmodoka already knew. Um, Asmodoka already knew Tomoe had known Yamaki for even longer than her. Wow, that's really surprising. If Modoka knew him for um, two or three years, Tomoe was acquainted with him for roughly double that. God, they were acquainted before she even. What? Really? Oh, how is that even possible? Wow. That is years. I mean. That could potentially be like 11 years they've known each other for. That's why, but even so, the difference in age was um, still acceptable. There were very, there were various circumstances making her feel hesitant, but she could be convinced. Yeah. But were the rumours whispered about her and she felt more actually true? Or unfounded lie? Oh, that's actually really quite interesting that these are just rumours. Maybe she's actually going to approve, you know, of their relationship when she doesn't actually fully know it's true. But when it's happening, maybe that's when things become a little bit tricky. Even now, Don't Worry was right that the truth had eluded her this whole time. No, no way! Why would she do that? that yeah, yeah, that it is absurd. But that explanation seems absurd, but Don't Worry wasn't confident enough to disregard it. Oh, in reality, Don't Worry was um, chosen for the um, National Police Agency's recommended group. Um, from her post in Ibaraki last summer. Ibaraki, I really wonder if Lena actually knows her. That would be interesting, oh my god. In last summer. Additionally, Yamaki was appointed as chief of um, Kakuyuki Station and Madoka was inducted as a police officer last spring. All right. She definitely must have been working really, really quite hard in Ibaraki. Hmm. It would be odd not to suspect circumstances like that. These things were rather persuasive. Yeah, that is actually fair enough. I mean, it really just seems quite coincidental that, you know, Yamaki, um, you know, Mother joins and then 
the second year, the um, next year. Later, Tomoe joins the exact same delay station. Yeah, but I wonder how much truth there is to that. Nah, I don't really think. No, no way. Did Monoka um, truly pursue Amagi for her sister's sake? And in response, Amagi convinced her for management to choose her for the recommended group. Hmm. I think the fact that um, Madoka actually knows Yamaki, definitely. Oh yeah, that's actually fair enough, so she was trying to ask her about this, yeah. But the only thing is they genuinely love each other. She doesn't realise that, but yeah, it's true. Um, there were certainly clues um, pointed to the truth, but Tomoe still hadn't heard it, heard it from the two of them directly, and her suspicions were all still a bit too baseless to ask about them herself. Yeah, and she, so she alone wasn't was being swayed by the rumors. So much so, why did Madoka go to the police? That's actually quite surprising. I wonder what Maida wants to do. Maybe it's just the inspiration she felt from Tomoe and her father, obviously. When Madoka first announced she was going to be a police officer, Tomoe was delighted to learn that her sister was taking her career more seriously. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I guess really good that. And she's definitely fared better off for it, really. Rooms, you're starting to feel the complete opposite. Tomoe had a prejudiced view of Madoka um, for working at a cabaret, cabaret club before she became a police officer. What is a cabaret club? I see Yakuza Zero. Right. Oh, what type of nightclub found primarily in Japan? They employ primarily female staff and cater to men seeking drinks and attentive conversation. Right, that's a little bit weird. <laughs> Cabaret Club Yakuza. I get, I get busted by safe search. Is that some sort of video game? Okay, I really regret searching that. That's just really fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> And when it was later revealed that she was in a relationship with Chief Yamaoki, the thing was cast in a curious light. Yeah, it really just seems, it really does seem quite odd. I mean, why would the chief out of all people marry somebody that, you know, is really new? No, sorry, be in a relationship with somebody that is really new. I mean, there are so many new people that join. So, I mean, I get that obviously they would have had a connection through um, the Minai family name, but it really is quite surprising that they have actually met and they have actually, you know, become, become um, people that could potentially be a perfection. I mean, it's just like, it's just really quite odd just because of how high up he is. I mean, there would be very few employees that had an employer, sorry, employers that, you know, had an employee that they had a relationship with, even though they are so high up compared to them. But simply thinking it through, she didn't need to become a police officer to buy the chief's favour. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah, yeah. In instead, it may have been something much larger and more illicit. She had to understand um, that she'd been criticising Rip reproached if it was exposed, so why did she become a police officer? Hmm. Yeah. 
Well, whatever. Yeah, I actually really wonder what, um, I really wonder what the true sort of circumstances behind their relationship beginning were. Puma had always been unable to comprehend Monogon and Yamaoki's relationship, yet she constantly pushed back against it. She only recently came to realize that Monogon truly did have feelings from Yamaoki. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that they are actually eating out is evident. But, you know, they... Yeah, in which case, all she um, could do was tell Mother Guy everything she needed to as her older sister. There was no choice but to believe the rumours weren't true and what... Mm. Yeah, that's actually really quite good because they are not. Yeah. I love her. Huh? She said it only mattered that to nobody in particular. Mm. Several men had come west of back when she was a student and even after joining the police force. But even though um, she had been in several relationships, she never had a truly deep relationship with anybody, even today. Yeah, welcome to the club. It wasn't that she hated men or um, was hard to deal with, she just never had a yearning for somebody that, um, yeah, she could not confidently say was love. Yeah, welcome to the club, part two. <laughs> but there was something more important to Tom Moya than that. Hmm, a serious purpose that couldn't escape her mind, even while she was interacting with the people that around her. Oh, that's so good, yes, we want her to be happy. Yeah, happy enough for the both of us. She was certain she couldn't move forward until she settled the past. Hmm. But she wanted her sister to go on living, thinking of the future. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. And I mean, it doesn't really matter. I suppose in this situation, the past is just... I mean, it happened, it sucks that it happened, but at the same time, the future is something that can definitely defy, you know, everything bad that happened in the past. And... Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. It is actually really quite odd that she's actually done this. But maybe... Maybe she felt like inspiration and then she just really felt like she wanted to pursue the job after discovering she, I don't know, really quite liked it. Draw, then pulled out a file from inside. Inside was a um, polyethylene um, storage bag containing the carefully separated back the pages of a notebook, and that was the only clue Tom Moyer's father, Mina Yusuke, left behind. Oh my god, yeah! 11 years ago, 1971, wow. Suddenly, three weeks have passed since the fire that had. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Tomoe was discharged from the hospital after... Oh my god, yeah. Um, after recovering from her mental and physical injuries and returned to the burned remains of her home. With the permission of the police, she walked through the gate and stepped into the scorched garden. Jesus Christ. My god, I, I just seriously can't imagine how awful that must be. Just going into your own house and then just seeing it, you know, completely burnt. Oh yeah, yeah, understandable, yeah. The more I looked at the house while desperately trying to suppress the crush and how she felt about me as well. Yeah. Oh my god, they can't even see their room. The more I'm out room was supposed to be on the second floor, but it already collapsed, leaving only remains behind. And there was a single sandal remaining on the balcony, probably belonging to their mother who used, used to sunbathe there. Oh. The, um... The clothespins were, um... Deformed from the heat and, and lying strangely on the ground. Mm. Her father's only pleasure, his do it yourself a carpentry shed, was leaning precariously. God. Oh my god, that's really sad. Yeah, that, I can imagine something like that just really hitting in, you know, the whole sentimental and related. Mm. 
Um, with this inventory, she planted together with her mother, were, extingu were extinguished before they could never even once. Yeah. Yeah, the fire was caused by arson. I, I genuinely wonder who actually did the arson. I mean, seriously. I mean, obviously, it wasn't any of them. Or maybe it was. Who knows? What? Well, who would think you scared would do something like that? Come on, it's ridiculous. Her father didn't smoke, and she was confident that her perfect mother would never accidentally cause the fire. Yeah, maybe. Maybe her mother did. Who knows? So the impact upon reaching that conclusion was immeasurable. Yeah, I genuinely wonder. I mean, maybe somebody was actually, you know, really seriously stupid work debate. And, um. Maybe they had a conflict with their father or something like that. But fucking hell. That's like mountain dog levels of bad. I can't believe that. Happened. Oh my god, yeah, how can her interest trembled? Burning suspicious smelling air rose up from the back of her throat. Why? No, I couldn't agree more. She doesn't deserve it whatsoever. I mean, it's just such bad luck, though. It really is. But the happiness of her everyday life was burned to ash in an instant. So she absolutely had to find out why. Oh, yeah, yeah, fair enough, yeah. Yeah, yeah my god. Yeah, she's going to suppress everything she's feeling just to try and find any sort of evidence possible. Yes, as a bride. Oh, God, yeah, fair. The high pitch ringing in. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Okay, she should look after herself at this point. Oh, my God. Maybe she's going to still go on just because of how much of a juicy she feels here. I'm going to be surprised knowing Tom Moy. God, they pierced inside her head. And of course, it's starting to feel distant. Hatred, regret. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's understandable. I mean... Yeah, she wanted to kill the person who forced her to bear witness to this. Damn it, damn it. Oh, God, yeah. Hmm. The moment she suddenly began to cry out, the nagging air clung to the back of her throat. A field of you began to shake and blow over. Oh, oh, God. And her consciousness started to feel more and more distant. However, even so, Tomoe didn't cry. We could swear it wouldn't reach what God. God. That really is surprising. Like hell she cried. Like hell she admit defeat. Oh yeah, I like that. She's gonna rise up. She's never even gonna give the chance to be defeated. I refuse to give in until the criminal who robbed me of what I hold dear is punished me for this. Oh yeah, good. Yeah, I genuinely wonder who did it and why. Whoever whoever is it that hurt mum and dad, I'm certain I'll Oh. Huh? Come on, suddenly, um, Felt something on about the battered storeroom on the side of the building and looked closer as she tried to remember. Then she forcefully pushed the sliding door to reveal a toolbox hidden in the back, and inside she found a notebook bound in oil paper. Oh, and this is where she found it. The most important notebook of her life. I mean, you know it's important if it's literally in her work drawer. She carries it around everywhere she goes. And I mean, fair enough, yeah. But this is actually really quite surprising. I've never seen um, 
this um, before. I'm assuming that says, um, that can't be Kakiuchi, but that's Ku, and that's, I'd assume that's Claw, that's gotta be, I don't know, because I know Ku Claw is airport, wait, no, yeah, it is, yeah, is it, yeah, it is, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it is actually, no, I thought I thought this was Hikari's kanji that was used for the end of Kuko and Rokugatsu Suiyo. Ike! Ike! Kakuji Airport, June, Wednesday, go! That alone was written on the last page in large text and circled to stand out. Yeah! Yeah, there really is quite something that this thing here. It's just really quite surprising that Tomoe has never stopped. No, it isn't surprising whatsoever, it's just really. Shocking to see, you know, just how dedicated she is. No matter how inconvenient it will be, she will always go there every single Wednesday. Yeah. No matter how many times I see it, I still don't know what it means. It is genuinely odd, it really is. She lets out a sigh. But when Domoe's family lived in Tokyo, how was her father involved in, with the Kakiuchi Airport? Hmm. After performing with the police officer, she found many opportunities to examine um, case records and carry out investigations of her own. But even after all this time, yeah, the mystery remained un unsolved. It is odd that, it really is. Dad. Oh god, yeah. She gently pulled out to the empty scar called out to the empty scar while prying and the window blinds are part of her fingertips. Her father undeniably did visit there a few days before the fire occurred. Yeah, definitely. I really wonder if somebody there could potentially have in sorry connections to why the fire occurred. But she still had no idea what he was investigating there. Yeah, I really wonder why. Ah. Yeah, my god, 11 years have passed since then. Still not able to grasp any, grasp any sort of evidence after all that time. All she could do was quietly bide her time. Yeah. God, that really is interesting. I, I genuinely wonder what's um going to be, you know, the actual outcome of that. I wonder what is actually going to be hidden by that. I hope in, like, in this chapter or maybe the um console fragments we're gonna get so much info in the console fragments but yeah i really hope we find the answer to it it's gonna be really quite cool seeing like what's truly behind it it's gonna be quite interesting i wonder what the next chapter is oh what's um, this sumimasen. who is this what Nagisa. hold up i'm gonna just take a little break right okay i think i am going to probably say the question that you probably are thinking, who the fuck is Nagisa? What? Hi. Who is Hiranuma? Hiranuma? Who does voice? Is this um, Nagisa's friend? Maybe this is actually the character on the um, uh, thingy. I don't know, like the sort of the piece of text you click when um, actually in the console art menu. The blue haired girl. The I thought it could be a hoodie day. <laughs> a girl's voice um, called out from the waiting room next to the reception desk. The nurse on shift duty, Hinamida, Hinanuma, um, stopped writing a report for the fire department and tried to focus her eyes as she turned back to the cup. The fire department? Ah, uh, So this is not Kisa, it looks like. That is a really quite weird outfit, wow. Oh, is that Kisa? Konnichiwa. Good evening. There's a girl named, um, Ozaki Nakisa. Hmm. Who, um, she had grown familiar with, um, over the past few months. She lowered her head and hit, and hit the bottom of her face behind the bouquet of flowers she was holding in both her hands. Sorry, I'm gonna... Hinanima, um, had a big grin on her face when she saw that, and she responded with a friendly good evening of her own. Yomo, mimai? 
praying another visit today. Oh, you're coming from, from so far away. It must be tough visiting here every week. Oh, not at all. That's really not doing it. Oh. That you know, she's bringing me her flowers. That means I said a few words to um, re relieve the tension that she immediately uh, timidly did up at Hidanima. The rivers on both the sides of her hair look good on it. Yeah, they actually look quite cool, yeah. And her slightly um, angled eyes were full of determination. Oh, right, so I wonder what she actually does. I wonder you know, everything about her, really. <laughs> her looks were um, accented by. Um, and accessories and that lovely blouse presented a moderately luxurious sense says a quality yeah that's actually fair enough now thinking about this who dresses in an outfit as posh as this like especially this white shirt and then you yeah, this blouse following up on it yeah i kind of i kind of get what um i mean <laughs> i wonder if she's a rich kid um her expression morphed into a slightly sullen frown however um Hinanima, um had recently come to learn um that was simply a subconscious reaction for a shy personality oh right, right, can I talk with Kohei-kun now? Yeah, most likely. When we took his temperature earlier, he was just getting up from a nap. So I really wonder if this could potentially be her lover. Is that so? Great. Then Nagisawa would like to express in relief and look down at the colourful bouquet in her hands. They were fresh. Oh, oh yeah, 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 nice one. They were fresh, vividly brought, vividly bright pink and green cosmos flowers. Oh, we're gonna, let's do a little bit of a context check. I'm good at typing. <laughs> I love that it interprets cosmos flowers, dad. <laughs> That's actually a really quite nice um, set of flowers. Something a bit more, you know, mysterious because cosmos could be reminiscent of space, but like that's really quite nice. The sweet smell even managed to drift through the window, and the you know, um, couldn't help but smile. Oh, yeah, 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 fair. That's <laughs> a no, yeah, it's a lot of flowers. Are they expensive? Ah, yeah, oh, no, oh. 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 They're growing in the gardening club's flower bed. All right, so she's doing some sort of gardening relating things. Um, they finally started to bloom, so um, I wanted to share them to go. Would that be all right? Eh, what's it like? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's really quite nice. So, yeah. That's really quite nice. Thank you very much. It's the same that Nagi's are um, courteously bowed her head. Even though there were even though there was still a bit of a hint of awkwardness in her responses, when she first started visiting, she hardly said anything more than yes and no. Oh right, all things considered, it was a remarkable amount of progress. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. So god, she must have been really quite shy at first, but now she's, you know, really grown accustomed. That's quite nice. <clears throat> god, that's actually really quite surprising. Oh no. So she's been visiting here for quite a long time. I really wonder if this person could potentially be her husband or maybe some sort of person, maybe a brother or something, I don't know. Uh, or a or like that. That. Yeah, oh then I have a fox. Oh that's nice. Wait just a moment. Oh brilliant. Once I grab it, we can go together. Oh, sorry about that, Please do. Now he's unordered with a big smile on her face. It was a recent development for her to be comfortable relying on others like this. As she thought, um, as she thought that, um, Hinanuma um, gave her a wink and then stood up and headed into the back room. Hmm. 
God, this is completely new. I'm just genuinely surprised that we've never seen stuff like this before. I've never seen this location before. The hallway looked um, somewhat dim, perhaps due to the time of the evening. Oh yeah, yeah, fair. It was also um, closer to dinner time, so there were very few visitors coming and going. Oh, yeah. um, an uncle lady on the first told me that an alarm went off earlier. Did something happen? Ah. Oh, well, that's annoying. Yeah, I know, I know some people that run a and b and they have fire alarms that go off and let's just say they are not the happiest about it. <laughs> yeah, they are annoying though, yeah. Yeah, nice. I checked it all right place, but there was nothing wrong, so there's no need to worry. Oh, is that so? Oh yeah, I felt I was a little surprised when I heard about it. So, yeah, sorry, to say, um, sorry to escape like that. Thanks for that. Um, Hinanima um, had to visit every single hospital room to explain the situation. Oh, God, that's a nightmare. <laughs> and after all this, there's a meeting with the supplier um, that she'll have to put in overtime to attend. Oh, no. Oh, my God, that is going to be a really difficult day of work. Holy fuck. Sorry to bother you when you're so busy. Oh, she sounds really quite nice. Like, really nice. Mm. Anyway, the gardening clubs are pretty unusual. Activity. So, were you raising the flowers in that flower bed yourself? Hi. That's right. Wow. That's actually really quite nice. My mother has the flower arrangement class, so I like flowers. That's a lovely job. Wait, is that her job? Oh, that's actually been really quite peaceful, that. What if you go down the same career path as your mother was after you Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my mother told me to carefully think about what I'm going to do after college. Yeah, 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 definitely. I think this is, this is more of a thing to do in retirement. I mean, I suppose if she maintains the interest throughout her life, that's going to be a really fun thing to do in retirement. And secondly, um... Yeah, it's just going to be a really quite nice thing to, I suppose, do alongside the potential career that you have. It does rely on, you know, having decent vegetation and obviously having decent, um, decent growth of, uh, decent soil as well, I suppose. That's really quite pleasant, this. The girl shrugged her shoulders, then lightly tilted her head with a bitter smile on her face. Yeah, indeed, it would be difficult for a housewife to turn a profit and um, profit on a hobby with such high expenses, unless it was a particularly um, innovative or large-scale endeavour. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I mean, if you commercialised it, make it, made it into a business, of course it would be on Zoo, but. Yeah, that is very, very difficult. There was also a question of the times. It's natural for a parent um, to pressure um, their daughter into an educational background that will lead to a stable future. Oh yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. <laughs> you're, gonna cram you're going to cram school too, Ozaki? Yes. In fact, it's a test on that's right, actually, tomorrow is Sunday, there's a professional test. Wow. God, that's really... I, I thought because she was going to grammar school, she was actually underachieving, but my god, she's going there because she is one of the overachievers. Wow. If I do well this time, I'll be able to go take on more advanced classes in school, and that'll give me an advantage on entrance exam. Oh, this person has common sense. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. If I keep soaring well from now on, I'll be able to go to any school of my choosing. Oh. Yep, I think Kohei is definitely um, some sort of, you know, boyfriend. <laughs> so, yeah, that's really quite nice. So, let me just. Uh... Yeah, visiting here every week. You must have been really quite ill, but yeah, maybe this is the time where 
he's finally beginning to get better. Oh, for fuck's sake, I need to charge my mouse, because otherwise it's going to be flashing red, and I really cannot be bothered to have that very annoying sight. My mouse has the worst charger, seriously. It's so difficult to actually slot it in. Yo, have I done it? What the fuck? I think I might have done it. That's ridiculous. Shouldn't be possible. Rigged. Life has debated me. Oh, no, I haven't because I didn't realise it was plugged in, but nothing has happened. I love life. I love life even more when my mouse clicks on my game. Come on, man. Come on. There are some times I can deal with shit like this, but... And today is definitely not one of them. Yes! I am a fucking god among us, all of society. I charge my mouse. Wow! Right, look at this and tell me it is not pure dedication. <laughs> I am amazing. With my studying related things, I mean, I... I don't really encourage it, to be fair, but I really wish I did revision, like... I really wish I started doing revision in year 10 as opposed to year 11, I mean... The only time I sort of really started doing loads and loads of revision... I mean, I did revision in year 10, but I didn't do loads. I wish I just did a little bit more then. So that I had, I had less work to do now, but I think I can still do it. I'm doing really well, well at the moment. That's really quite nice. In that quiet reply, there was a hint of stiffness. That was a product of the anger she felt about the unrealist, unreasonable circumstances. Oh god, yeah, what's happened? Yeah. In that case, I was going to be so happy. Yeah, I genuinely wonder what's actually happening. The fare must be expensive. Yeah. It's fine. Wow. That's really surprising. Parents definitely sound like good people. Yeah. Well, that's really nice. We move very suddenly, so they're doing it as a way of making it up to you. Yeah, my God. Yeah. You guys are nice parents. I'm always worried about it. I'm always worried about it. No, I'm scared. I'm afraid that I might end up like her. Oh. Who's her? Oh, they don't want to my frustrations to make me expect. Who's her? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go and make her like home. They're coming late like coming home. They won't make a fuss. I know what I'm saying. I'm just saying we trust you with fighting and looking at them. This really took a... Like, we trust you with fighting and looking at them. This really took a... Weird turn? Hmm, that's actually really interesting. I wonder. Now, we know Lena. Lena. <laughs> so she's been potentially doing some really quite bad things. So I wonder. Could you imagine, right, if Nagisa is a person that goes to. Uh, that used to go to Lena's school in Ibaraki when she obviously did, you know the really bad incident. And could you imagine if um, Kohei was actually a person that was really badly affected in the incident that Lena, um, you know, had conducted? But I don't really think he would have to be seriously injured. I mean, it happened, like, maybe six months before she came to Inamizawa. No, I don't know. This is October 1982. No, this would have this would have happened um, a long time ago. I don't think that would add up. Oh, yeah, it's actually pretty shocking to receive such gentle treatment. So... Yeah, I see. As you know, I you know, I'm my, um, responded, she started to worry of something. Wonder if something was coming on at home. Yeah, even though they saw each other face to face every week, she never pried into Nandisa's affairs. Yeah, this is the first time they actually discussed it. I wonder if her family said something to her. No, I, I don't think it's that. I think it's just her genuinely wanting to, 
you know, spend every week just, you know, seeing a friend. But with those styles in mind, Hiranuma, um, everyday mouth, searching for the right words to say, but just then, Hiranuma-san. Hiranuma-san. The smile disappeared from Nagisa's face as she stood on the spot, as she stopped on the spot. Following her lead, Hidan Numa also stopped in place and turned to her with a puzzle. What's wrong? Oh my god, yeah, yeah, I wonder what's happened. How has Kohei Kun been since then? That's good, whatever has happened, this is what doing well, I suppose. Oh, I'm sorry, 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 He'll probably leave the hospitals. I was thinking, I mean, a little bit of a difference in terms of gender. I mean, it can't be a boy, but because you imagine if this is actually the person that Katie had shot, but again, you know, shot in the eye. But time doesn't really add up. And the fact that he shot a girl instead of a boy. <laughs> God, so something really bad happened to us. So, this person, um, something that's actually made his eyesight disappear. Or, not disappear, sorry, um, be in really bad condition. God. Yeah. That's not what I'm asking about. Hmm. <sighs> Shit, what's actually happened? You know, I'm uh, already giving Nagi's last question an immediate response. <laughs> the incident. And she said and turned to ask the girl about it. Ne, oh, you mentioned that Sadam, Sawamura, um, Kun was saying weird things in his sleep before. Is that really true? <laughs> Is that, um, Kohei Sawamura? Um, Sawamura, Kohei, I don't know. Um, Nagisa's eyes darted back and forth in confusion, but after a brief hesitation, she responded and. Oh. <laughs> When I came in last week, Kohei-kun was sleeping in bed with a high fever. Oh, God. What? It sounded like he was having a bad dream. He was saying, Oh, Yashiro-sama's come to save me. I clearly heard him say that. Oh, my God. Oh, that's weird. Could this person potentially have the syndrome? What? Did you talk to him about it? Okay, that is really quite weird. I was just talking about I got the same. Could this be something self-conscious? That is so weird. But sure he hold my hand as he said it. He was so nobody believes me. That's weird. I think I might actually really, my prediction might have been close. I decided to check, did they do the shoulders and bit her lip? It didn't look like she was telling a lie, but she was deeply disappointed that nobody believed in her. Hmm. Or oh, Yashiro Sama! Honestly, it was a word. What? Okay, that is weird. What? It was, honestly, it was a word he couldn't recall hearing before. Rumors alleged that that's the name of the guardian deity from um, some remote villages, religious belief. Yeah, some from some remote villages. It's such an odd story. That is actually really surprising. I wonder why. That is really weird. I mean, if it was off, if it was subconsciously talking. I can, imagine, I, can, I can imagine it if it was, I don't know, something that, you know, we usually say, but if it's something that has never been said before, or never even heard before, that's weird. But the presiding um, physician and the psycho psychosomatic medicine doctor said that word never came up during his consultation, so I wonder what it means. Yeah, that's what I want to know. Yeah, why on earth did he say that? Yeah, why on earth did he say? Why would Gohei can mention the name of Yasuda Sama in his sleep? A name that he shouldn't even know. Hmm. God, I really hope the syndrome isn't actually getting worse because maybe the paranoia is manifesting in him. Who knows? That's so weird, though. Hmm. 
ごめんなさい。別にあなたを疑ってのことじゃないの。本当よ。ただ、本人も知らない言葉が出てくるなんておかしいと思う。どこかで聞いたか、誰かから聞かされたか。誰かから聞かされたか。誰かから聞かされたか。誰かから聞かされたか。誰かオカルトジャーでマイシー、ソーデナキアリエナイコトロ。だから、それを知りたいだけなの。何か心当たりあるだったら、きっとあの子です。あの子がコヘイ君に吹き込んだんです。マギサークウェンスのティーツウィッドルカフ。Hatred on her face as he said that. She squeezed the bouquet close to her chest, and a few of the flower petals fell down to the ground. Oh, that girl, that friend of his, your sister, I'm sure her name was. She's not a friend, no, why? Oh my god. Fucking hell. Oh, this story really does have potential. Jesus Christ. God. So, we're actually going to get, you know, a recount of, you know, the effects of the atrocities that Venus actually done. Um, the girl spat that out in a deep, heavily reverberated tone. Oh, yeah, definitely. Complete hatred. Since Yelena and I was near the history of it, why the boy was hospitalized. Oh, my God. All she could do was sigh. And then I got a baseball bat. Fucking. I'd assume she probably hit him near the skull, near the eye as well. Right. Six months ago. Oh, only six months ago. Jesus Christ. Well, I kind of predicted what's happened. Did I predict exactly what's happened? I need to check that once I've actually finished this video. Oh my god. So I really wonder. So it looks like they were friends beforehand, but obviously now. Yeah, completely mental. After she went completely mental. Yeah. That would have been the end of it. Oh, God. Yeah, a female student caused a violent incident at one particular school. Yeah, it wasn't covered in the newspapers, but he'd only heard rumors. Oh, interesting. So she didn't actually see it for herself. God. The girl suddenly attacked her close friends after school, beating them indiscriminately with a metal bat. Yeah, it is totally who we know. Oh my god. After school? I thought it was actually during school. Jesus. Oh! Jesus fucking Christ! And one of the victims was Marky Sass' boyfriend. Boyfriend! Poor fucking girl. Oh my god. Six months as well. Suffered injury so severe it was he nearly blinded him. Yeah, that is definitely where he knows about Oyasu or someone from. Yeah, maybe it could have been a memory that is actually forgotten, just being so freaked out about who the fuck this Oyasu or someone person actually was. I can't believe that Car Hair was one of Nenos' previous friends, though. My god. Yeah, god. Yeah. After that, she continued her rampage throughout the school building, smashing the windows in the hallways and striking the lockers and walls in the club. God. Until eventually he was apprehended by several PETs. Oh, yeah, several PETs, so that's good. Probably the only teachers who actually know how to fight. Yeah, various factors were cited as possible in instigators for the incident, including stress over exams and human. Re they really don't know much. They do not know anything. Oh my god. This person was literally on, like, really fucking strong pharmaceuticals. You really think that. Yeah. However, since the female student never gave an official explanation to the victims, there was nothing to prove the truth. Interesting. That. Firstly, who would believe her? Secondly, why should she do it? Thirdly, you know, would, why would she want to do it? Yeah. Oh my god, that's the worst. Oh, oh my god, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's really quite something, though. So, I mean, 
There's information that should rightfully be released but because the school's so concerned about their image. Information about somebody literally getting attacked is less important than their appearance. That actually really is quite surprising. That wasn't just any consideration for the student. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, fair enough. I thought it was just because of their image, but yeah, that's understandable, yeah. But also to keep the parents from getting upset and pulling their kids away just before he's out. Oh yeah, yeah, understandable, yeah. In that sense, it was a completely natural response. Moreover, not only did the perpetrator keep her mouth shut, but the victims did the same. This actually would have quite interesting that. No, but I think that's because the dinner has actually, you know, got some notion about into their heads about she was cursed by her yes or something they're going to be cursed if they tell anybody and obviously they probably believed it because of how stressed they were and so the incident simply became a thing of the past yeah but my god the effects definitely happened yeah you good ain't not son right oh my god you're all a close group of friends yeah, that is unbelievable like, seriously I'm mean, gonna get that she transferred to Hinata's own and she only. I just surely really found it unbelievable that, <clears throat> you know, she was in the worst period of her life and she's done so many things that are completely atrocious. And then I is a really good person, but at the same time, she's never apologised whatsoever. It's just so surprising seeing the person that's as good as, for example, uh, where's she a really good person now? Oh, Watanagashi. The end of Watanagashi, that could be a good example. Or, I don't know, Matsuri Gai, I mean, I've already seen. Like. The fact that she never apologises, it seriously surprises me. That is really surprising. I wonder if they actually know. I mean, of course they should know. Even if I asked the teachers where she went, nobody will tell me. Yeah, my God. He never completely... God. Maybe he'll recover physically, but he... recovering mentally would be very difficult. Yeah. Ozaki-san. Ozaki-san. Oh, no. I'll never forgive her next time. I'll, I'll calm down. If someone sees you looking like this, you'll make him worried, you know? Huh? Oh. Oh. The girl took a deep breath and hung her head, seeming to finally come back to her senses. Oh, yeah, yeah, understandable. Yeah, she just gets so mad about what then has done that, yeah, she really just does go to instincts that are. Right. Uh, and when she noticed the bouquet was slightly crushy, Harry just straightened it out. Mm. Oh, Ozaki-san. Yes. Yeah, my God. Yeah, that's true. I understand how you must feel, but even if you're feeling angry or hopeful, she's already gone. That is fair enough, but it's still going to be so difficult to focus the attention to the people important to her, even though Nena has, you know, had such a bad effect on their lives. I can't believe she didn't apologise, though. I mean, genuinely. But at the same time, her mental state was so awful all the time that if she had a rational feeling, I would be impressed. Because at that time, she was only feeling, you know, she'd obviously seen or yes, or something like she was literally going to cut herself to death. But, um, yeah. Then what happened was she was, you know, just completely seeing the brightness of the future, returning back to Hinamizawa. She was probably so caught up in that that she forgot about a lot of her real duties. Jesus, I wonder what's actually going to happen this, in this arc. Oh, that's fair. I'm sure that will make some women feel happy. Mm. Oh, that's nice. So let's stop talking about the story. I mean, to be fair, what's happened has happened. I'm going to talk about the you know, more pissed off and sad you're going to get. So. Mm. No, no way. <laughs> I'm going to get to the end of the story. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. 
fair. So let's stop talking about that story. Maybe you just you just heard that word while watching TV or reading a book or something. Thinking about it too hard will hard about it will only it will only hurt. Like, yeah, fair. Mikey Sam responded with a faint nod. Yeah, but the look on her face made it clear she still wasn't in this. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, even though this is obviously she is um, trying to end this discussion here. Um, yeah, just not to worry. So that you know, he's happy. The two of them reached the hospital room um, they, at the end of the hallway. The tag next to the door had the name Salman Minok or Hair um, written in felt tip pen. He had a man lightly knocked on the door. Salman Minokan, your girlfriend is here to see you. Huh? 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, am I wrong? <laughs> oh my god, I feel so bad for us. He hasn't actually proposed to him. <laughs> um, no, uh, her face is bright red, so she hid behind the bouquet. <laughs> he under my jelly glazed at the, the gaze of the innocent reaction, but once I started feeling uncomfortable, she turned towards the door. <laughs> he normally responded immediately, but there was no reply. Oh, What? The fuck? What? Why? Hang on a second, what? Without hearing a word in response, he landed my put a hand on the doorknob, but her army suddenly transformed into suspicion because the door was locked. Hmm. What would what could possibly be happening? Maybe it could potentially be a sword, I wonder why. Um, she pulled out a keychain out of her pocket, then inserted one of the keys into the keyhole. All of the rooms in the hospital were equipped with locks due to certain circumstances. <laughs> yeah, fair. The patient could lock them, lock them from the inside, but the uncle nurse is still able to unlock them using the mask key. All oh, right. However, the patient never locked this door even once since he was transferred to this room last week. Hmm. Uh, That's weird. I should uh, maybe I should come again later. It's right, it's right, I'm yeah. san san I'm coming in. Please excuse me. I'm just saying that Hinanama opened the door to the hospital room and stepped inside. Eh? Huh? Hang on a second, what? Why is she... Kohei-kun? Scared Kohei-kun? Wait a minute. What? There was nobody inside the hospital room. What? This is weird. Well, they have security cameras, to be fair. It won't be... Hopefully it won't be that bad. The corridor was all turned in a way that made it look like somebody was in there recently. The inside of the room was very quiet. The only sound was the clamour of a caged canary, which was um, placed inside the room to comfort the patient. Hmm. It's like a cage canary is. Yeah. I think I should have realised that a canary was a bird. <laughs> That's so weird! Yeah, I genuinely wonder what's actually happened. I mean, yeah, he might have escaped hospital, but why has he done so? Oh god, I hope that Nike Sal's not going to, you know, potentially have boyfriend trouble. Maybe the canary has the answers. I wonder where we went. Yeah. That's actually interesting, I wonder. He has not jumped out of the window. He, I think he's still in there. Maybe he's hiding in fear of something. Oh, somebody left? What? Oh, oh no. 
Shit, I don't like this. Mm, and just then, an evening glow is blue and causing the skin tone curtains to flutter. Skin tone, God. That really is unpleasant. The girl placed the bouquet on the table and quietly approached the window. She began to put her hand on the handle of the window and then leaned out. Jesus fucking Christ. No! No! Has she actually jumped out of the window? What? The girl made fist in place, gazing down from the window, trembling with a pale look on her face. Then he up Numa, um, ran to her and looked in the same direction! What? Dude, I am seriously surprised. What the fuck? Holy fuck. Oh my god, I'm so surprised. God, I feel bad. Oh my god, poor Nagi son. Holy shit. Oh god. That's so surprising. Seriously. The boy's dressed in pajamas. Was lying on the down. On, on the down ground below. Oh yes. Lying on the ground down below. With his arms and legs spread wide. And the ground was around his body was a distinctly different hue from the setting sun. Yeah, the grey goblin was dying in dark black. You've got to be fucking kidding me. He made me dead. Quiet, good. Yeah, she's really in a state of mental shock. God. Oh, that must be so difficult for her. I hope she can pull through. Ozaki san, be careful. Oh, God. Yeah, she needs to. She needs to be careful. Yeah, she needs to be careful. Oh, 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 Grab the screaming girl, then turn and retreat into the wall across from the wood. Yeah, good, good. Then she slashed a nearby nurse intercom receiver and began shouting into it without waiting for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hello, nurse center. Yeah, yeah, the patient in room 842 has fallen from the window. Call police immediately. So it is unbelievable to think that this disaster that Lena has actually caused has caused this person to literally lose her boyfriend. It's so horrible. Looking down from the 8th floor window, it was a miserable sight to the hot- Oh my god, yeah. That distance was the battle between the living and the dead. It's actually really quite unbelievable to think, but... Yeah, it's only a couple of feet you need. And boom. Jump from it, you are screwed. Huh? Oh. Daily place that we've never seen again. Never seen once before. Um, part 100, 400. Um, an interview. That's right. Hmm. I wonder what this is going to be. Could this be Tomoe actually coming into the um, hospital that Nagisa's boyfriend was discovered? Dead in. God, this is seriously surprising. I, I just genuinely really wonder what's happened though. Maybe it could be the syndrome. Because he had a high fever and he was fearful of a Yasu or something. Maybe it could have crept up on him. No, but that's assuming he has gone to Hinam as well. Why? No, I, I don't think the syndrome is a thing that you can account for this. Because I suppose with a lot of mental issues um, beforehand, the syndrome was an easy answer, but it's not for this. I think it's just because of, you know, the shock of what's actually happened and then that leading into worse things and obviously fear just turning into worse and worse things. Tom White received a call from Chief Yamaoki to report in immediately after lunch, and that was the first thing he said after she unwillingly entered his office. <sighs> Formal request from the um, public relations office of the National Police Agent. National Police Agent. They're collecting programming. Um, they're collecting programming from key stations. So your cooperation is necessary. Yeah, well, I'm sure you can imagine how important this is. Oh, yes. Come on, this ultimately struggled. 
Yeah, so I wonder what is actually going to be happening while this happens. Oh my god, you know, Nagisa's instincts. I really hope they don't go into murder for all they know. God, I wonder what's going to happen with the guy. <laughs> yeah, ever since making a name for herself as a detective, she was starting to get sick of the requests for interviews that came with the new title in the workplace. Oh, right. Especially recently, since she had received multiple requests for TV appearances. Jesus, you know somebody is big one. They've got requests for TV appearances. It was understandable. Frequent appearances from female police officers were bringing better ratings from than some tough athlete, athletic police officer. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Her issue wasn't so much with the composition, but rather the theme. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was just going to be, for example, I don't know, just to give some accounts of incidents that have actually happened. No! God! <laughs> yeah, fair. That must be really quite lame. She lived with the proposal from the, police, uh, from the TV station inside. The content of the program um, detailed the success story of a poli female police officer who was selected as part of the National Police Agency's recommended group from a post at Ibaraki Police Prefectural Police Department, apparently. Hmm. Wow. That's genuinely surprising. They, they would get an entire program dedicated to her. Sure, they wanted to publicise a story about equal employment opportunities amongst men and women. I suppose, um, prevalent in recent years. However, it wasn't very interesting. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Hmm. Really, there's nothing mysterious about the different ways men and women are treated. As much as I heard people say, even women are capable and don't discriminate, it all seemed... Yeah, 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 like putting on a bold front. She was only receiving this level of recognition because she was a woman. Yeah. Fair. Besides, um, Tom Moyer um, toiled endlessly on her criminal investigation activities day and night, seeking opportunities to solve the mysteries her father left behind. Oh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, she wouldn't have time for something like this. So, to instead twist the story into something about expanded women's rights to appeal to the enthusiasm of working women. Oh, that would. Yeah, 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 understandable. Yeah, if she couldn't think of anything more disrespectful. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, fair. That's why Tom Moyer came to the same decision every time. She would be rich if she did this, let's be honest, but no. She doesn't want to. De no kin so in order to keep up appearances. Oh god, so he so this is a proposition as opposed to uh, you know, obligation. A cur <laughs> Yeah, but oh, that's fair enough. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this, this, is, this is the first time the request has come from the public relations office, but the reason is still the same. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough, yeah. Even if I appear on TV, I have nothing to say. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think it would be such a form of consideration. I don't think it would be such a form of consideration. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. I mean, she really is dedicated to her job. No matter how much money they offer, they're not going to get her. No way. Besides, I'm actively handling my investigations at this moment. Having the people recognize my face would only make those actions more difficult. 
辞退させていただきます。もう相変わらず硬いな。おお、みんなおいしそう。これで全部ダメだ。これで全部ダメだ。これで全部ダメだ。これで全部ダメだ。これで全部ダメだ。これで全部ダメだ。これで全部ダメだ。これで全部ダメだ。これで全部ダメだ。これで全部ダメだ。これで全部ダメだ。これで全部ダメだ。これで全部ダメだ。これで全部ダメだ。これで全部ダメだ。これで全部ダメだ。身長を着すのは刑事として当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のことよ。それは当然のこ所長に何か用なの関係ないんだったら、公務中だし、席を外してもらいたいんだけど。I love that! Oh my god, and saying that right in front of the chief. She really has guts. いや、だって呼ばれたから。Actually, we go here. え、藤田さん。Right, 藤田さん。あ、そう。自分もなんで呼ばれたのかわからないんですが。Yeah, although I don't actually remember. Oh, I actually don't know why. <laughs> Who's that? Look, the apologetic because he said that, scratching his head. Apparently, he knelt down and begged for forgiveness in front of his wife's parents after the misunderstanding from that case the other day. Oh, brilliant. Oh, that's good. Thanks to that, he was able to go into work this morning full of joy, finally telling Tom Boyer the whole story. The people involved took it very seriously, but look, looking at it in hindsight, it was just a minor nuisance. But she did keep thinking to herself, <laughs> Go to hell as she sold down her lunch hamburger. She's probably so uninterested that she just thinks that I get that so much sometimes. Like, you know, just talking to somebody. Really... Oh, how nice of this intro to talk to you. <laughs> bring me a sis, bring me a sis souvenir. Bring me a souvenir, sis. <laughs> yeah, I said I'm not going. Anyway, please accept my refusal. それどころではありませんので。Yeah, so, to to yeah. um, to TV, to to yeah. 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 Wow, she, she couldn't even find employment. Um, sorry, enjoyment in enjoyment versus employment. They're such similar words. I hate that. In a second, I'm like, yeah, fair. Hmm, so they are come up. It was a minor nuisance, but it really could have developed into something bad, like, you know, the thing that happened with Hujita. Oh, it's so good that he, see, he found forgiveness, though. <laughs> I wonder what Madoka thinks about、um, Tomoe's eating habits. I mean, I don't think we've actually seen, you know, Madoka ever talk about it. By the way, what is this? This is so good. It looks like, I don't know, some sort of. I don't know, Model Warfare Bear is eating. A carrot that's on some sort of random vase like thing? Weird. Oh, do you see this? Oh, yeah. もう、OK、してしまったからな Oh my god, you are a demon. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh my god, you know just from this music that she's gonna get so fucking cry. And rightfully so, I'm actually really quite surprised that he's. Yeah, that is not a very nice thing to do. Yeah, yeah, Tom was that uh, cast aside her cool demeanor and shouted out loud. <laughs> this is a business trip, permit. <laughs> That's actually really quite good though, at least it's being paid for. Uh, unfortunately, travel expenses are determined by um, the Public Relations Office, um, so you won't be in a first class cabin, but it does give you a reserved seat on the bullet train. Why did you say that? And why are you giving it to me without my permission? Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's fair enough. Isn't that even the less reason to force it on somebody? <laughs> yeah, that's not the problem. <laughs> yeah, what about my wishes? Oh, my rights! <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard somebody rant so well. <laughs> what gave them the authority to say okay to this? Yeah. The truth the matter is. <laughs> he sounds like a fucking. He just sounds so much more threatening than he actually is. The truth is. The truth of the matter is. I'm the chief. That means I am. I am your boss. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to say that like it's some sort of kind of secret. Yeah, my god. Even if you are my boss, you, sh you shouldn't have the authority to make this kind of decision. Yeah, fair enough. And if anything, she really doesn't have authority that's that much um, lower than Yamaki's anyway. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, God. Don't agree to this. Yeah. I'm serious, I absolutely despise these sort of requests. Yeah, I think we can definitely tell. <laughs> what on earth are they thinking? Putting an active duty detective on TV. That is actually fair enough. I mean, are they really considering the effects going on TV may have on this person? Yeah, wouldn't that make it impossible to conduct confidential inf investigations in the future? <laughs> oh my god, a loud bang roared out. It's not why I intensely smashed her hands down on the luck. Like, of course, there's a luxury desk. Screaming and shouting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh my god, yeah, 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 seriously, yeah. Yeah, any ordinary detective, not even a hardened criminal would travel before this sort of display. I don't think it's only because of, you know, something as small as this. <laughs> we just not muttered something to that effect to himself. <laughs> However, no matter um, how much he had to say, Yamaki annoyed him when voice and simply continued polishing the golf club. He had just picked up, oh my god, that is so, so humiliating. <laughs> Are you even listening, Chief? Oh, to yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, you can definitely tell it in his voice. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, fair enough. He's got so weak that you can't hear high frequencies anymore. You can't hear louder know, pitch sounds, really. <laughs> louder and high pitch sounds. Um, yes, I'm listening carefully. Unfortunately, my hearing has gotten weaker in my own voice. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk a little louder. <laughs> Seriously, listen to me. S sis! <laughs> calm down, calm down, okay? <laughs> Motherka frantically and moved in front of Domoe and <laughs> desperately tried to stop her momentum. If she couldn't stop it here, it wouldn't be much longer until the verbal assault turned physical. No, I don't. I, she can control herself, I, I'd hope. But yeah. <laughs> That's enough card or something. I mean, Chief. <laughs> Please stop. Season Chief is better than Minai so much. Yeah, I might apologize, Minai. <laughs> I was only trying to warm the mood. For everyone apart from Tomoe. <laughs> More like burning with rage. <laughs>
みなさん、ブレイクブレイク。ブレイク。ブレイク。ブレイク。ブレイク。ブレイク。ブレイク。ブレイク。ブレイク。ブレイク。ブレイク。ブレイク。ブレイク。ブレイク。ブレイク。
if he obviously declined, then yeah, that would be a little bit tricky. Well, this is a gift from the TV station after accepting your participation. <gasps> it's nice, isn't it? I love that he just speaks so provocative. Flash! <laughs> I'll kill you! <laughs> you sold me out for a single golf club. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is she actually getting physical? Holy shit, she should stop. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay, she's really getting too far. I mean, I get that she's mad and everything, but like, fucking hell, she should control herself. <laughs> Top 10 things to say to your boss. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> I love this CG. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Did you want the golf club? I mean, to be fair, he probably could have used it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give it to me now. What's he going to do? Burn it? Extract useful metal from it? Uh, I don't know. What could you do with gold club she said it was from titanium can you make it most dangerous titanium use oh paints Food products, drugs, cosmetics. Interesting. <laughs> you could probably use it for you could use it for paint. You could put paint chemicals in a smoothie and then you could ask somebody to drink. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you can make a lot of business from um liquefying or something like that, I'm sure. But to actually get pure titanium, that would be so fucking expensive. If you wanted to do it on an industrial scale. <laughs> oh my god, I'll smack your head so hard. I don't have to launch it into the pond out back. Be nice, <laughs> Don't resort to plunge it. You're a police officer after all. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. I mean, obviously it is quite funny, but like, it, it's just all quite a funny joke. But like, yeah, she really should stop. Besides, if you take this any further, you're liable to face disciplinary action. Oh I mean, that is actually fair enough. He has done something that I think is pretty scummy. I mean, to be fair, like, he's done this against me. I mean, obviously the situation is quite funny to us. So it's kind of hard to think about how stupid this is. He's done this against me, nice will. Um... He's actually done this just so he can get, you know, a rare golf club. I mean, come on. If I'm going to be disciplined, what about him? And it is the public relations office. It's their job. <laughs> this is a flagrant case of bribery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Indeed, there was no denying that. <laughs> Saku, I'll take responsibility to arrest this villain. I think you really are in a world of your own at the moment. <laughs> I think she's try currently trying to arrest her boss. <laughs> Wait a minute, sis! Has she become a furry? Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> At this point, who just tells a version? <laughs> to tell you a woman's body was no longer a fat. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> If anything were to happen to the chief here, the staff at person that were first would never get this. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I think she really should stop. And oh my god, the, the second division, they are really going to get they are really gonna get high on this information. <laughs> yeah, she should actually stop. I mean, obviously, um, she is annoyed, but yeah, she really should control herself, my god. <laughs> Oh 
he is such a demon though. He's just gonna provoke her as much as possible. <laughs> Neither of them wanted to damage her career or something. So, oh my god, yeah, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go, he's done. No, don't. <laughs> no, don't you have the heart of a detective within you? <laughs> <laughs> if you have even the tiniest sense of justice in your side, you can you overlook the sense of corruption right in front of you? <laughs> Should be saying that to somebody so high up. <laughs> After all, no matter how you twisted the interpretation, it was clearly a bro. <laughs> Fair enough. Deputy Chief Hata was eagerly searching for reasons to throw the chief the boy out. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. So it would be outrageous if the story got out. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, no. Sergeant Fujita, are you taking um, Minai Kun's side on this? Huh? Ah. <laughs> I'm not taking any sauce, I'm just thinking about it for myself using common sense. Oh, they might only really try to persuade me in Naicha, Minakun. But isn't he on Yamaki's side then? To me, not? Oh, he's good. He is good. <laughs> 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 with attention suddenly directed at him, Hujita returns to the Yamaoki with a confused look on his face while still restraining Tomoe. <laughs> Persuader, even though it was an attempt to keep it. Oh my god, yeah, you, you can barely restrain her, never mind persuading her. Oh yeah, even though it was an attempt to keep her under control, he couldn't help but think, why me? And no matter how he looked at it, no matter how much he thought about it, what Tomoe said was definitely true. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, that's gonna be so difficult, yeah. to take advantage of such benefits. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really quite funny, he still defies his boss. Yeah, but now he's got a little bit cross. Oh my god. 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 Your bonus is in the sessions will also receive a thorough review. The son of Tatugini Kimino Sango. Sonor, you came to eat a dash to no cheese. And I thought you can explain it to your wife. Oh, okay, that's definitely touched enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's dirty. How could he explode the weak spot of a ma married man? Oh my god, yeah, yeah, fair enough, yeah, yeah. And, and with that case happening just the other day, if he got his bonus cut due to something else, due to something else involving Tomoe, no doubt about it, there'd be hell to pay for, from his wife from the start. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. And something involving Tomoe as well, like, what the fuck could have happened? Could it be some sort of, you know, I don't know. For all we even know, sex scandal? I don't fucking know. <laughs> the love. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god. <laughs> now he is going to get a little bit annoyed. Now, I'm um, sorry. Uh, what's the name? Oh my ears. それを踏まえて最後の質問。ああ、じゃあ。みんなに手を説得するか。奥さんに待った土下座をするか。ウィシャルプチライトチーフスペットミナ。オディウィデザディウダンボフォーヨーワイボンズボ。やっぱ<
<laughs> and where did you even get the information from? Oh. Oh god. That's actually fair enough. That is weird, yeah. Maybe that was just... I don't really think it was him getting information. I think it was just an assumption. Because obviously of the situations that had happened, maybe he was going to desperately kneel down to them. Just because of how much maybe at stake if he doesn't. The last time he kneeled to his wife was at his parents' house. Right. <laughs> Oh shit, what's actually happening? Oh my god! Normally, Hootie Tom would struggle and struggle to make a choice before ultimately siding with Justin. Yeah, the fact that he is actually going to have to. Hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. However, he felt a, death, a taste of death just last night and absolutely didn't want to experience it again. And so he gave him without a fight. M me nice. Me nice. <laughs> ah, yep, yep, yep. He's got what he wanted. Please, please, he sent me in. Huh? Oh no! No! No, Hijita could potentially be the one that gets the blame. Hijita, <laughs> are you trying to sell out your superior? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love how much determination he has. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh my god, yeah, yeah, fair enough, yeah. A little bit too honest, but okay. <laughs> I've, already, I've already bowed down to the ground at her parents' house once, and I'd hate to do it again. Yeah, yeah, oh God, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Seriously, it would break my heart. God, he is so fucking stressed. It made me feel so miserable and useless. Yeah. Yeah, my God, fair. That's almost my very character was being destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> you shameless bastard! <laughs> yeah, yeah, my god, yeah! Oh, mama. oh my god, I'm not kidding. This is a misunderstanding. This isn't a bribe, it's just a presence. Oh my god! Oh, that's so funny. I mean, we were always assuming that he was actually the person that was, you know, at his. Uh, the, um, pulling behind the strings. Oh, that's so funny. That's we wasn't even the person that was involved. Well, we were talking about golf while we were magazine, and I happened to say this looks nice. Yeah, just happened to say that. No, <laughs> and the rest of the world will come back extortion, you greedy old monster. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that is true, though. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, that's simply a different person opinion. Seriously? How? Oh my god, it has been, though. No matter what she does, she is never going to be able to, you know, um, do anything about it. Anyway, the message has already been passed on. Keep your plans open for next week. That's his own. <laughs> You're full of shit. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, he's probably going to run for his life. <laughs> I really don't think they should leave the office. She should fucking calm down. Have you said that young walkie walked out of his office with a calm expression as the boy rampage beside him? <laughs> Jesus Christ, she gets so mad though. I mean, any workplace boundaries are just completely thrown out of the window. Hey, damn it, Chief, you can't run away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Minasa, calm down! Oh, oh, oh. oh shit! Minasa, time out! This has gone way too far. I mean, to be fair, I think the chief should really try and put some water in. I, I can't believe that he's, you know, still trying to tease Tom Wire. <laughs> Please, let me go! Oh my god! Holy shit! It's gonna be, it's gonna be. Instead of my, instead of my heart, this time my arm is gonna get broken. Oh, oh god! Hello, first investigation division. If Daisuke or Hanada-san are there, oh, Hanada-san oh, is there too. Daisuke, they match the look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's had an all-hands report to battle station. 
I've come to the TV slot. Yeah, my god, seriously. <laughs> god damn you! Holy fuck. <laughs> I think that is a very appropriate sound effect. Oh. <laughs> Days later, a certain detective summarized this incident in a single sentence. What the fuck? Bet. Ore. Minai san no seishi yaku to lion no shiku gakari. Dochi ka erabe te iwaretara. Fair enough. Mayou koto naku shiku gakari su. I mean, at least lions don't have enough, as much will and emotional determination as Minai. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, though. She really can't control herself when he gets, she gets mad. Though. I mean, holy shit, breaking his arm nearly. Well, at least Hijis are still getting a bonus. <laughs> oh, what's the end of it? Oh, right, it is. <laughs> that was so funny that I love that. <laughs> right, that's actually going to be really quite interesting seeing what's going to happen tomorrow. Oh, I think this story has potential. I think it does. I hope it does. Right, I wonder what are the first few lines we're we going to get Nagisa's point of view? Ooh. Uh. De? Uh. <gasps> Doko nan desu ka? Where is so this? Store? Hmm. Oh my god, so Yamaki is actually going to Tokyo with her. Oh my god, that is going to be so funny just seeing how how much of a train that is of that is, is actually going to be. I wonder if Tomoe is actually going to... I mean, to be fair, she could be so mad at this that when she actually turns up into the interview, maybe she can like completely protest and completely defy against everything she was asked to do. I mean, she wouldn't be that immature, I don't think, but maybe it could happen. Who knows? I hope it doesn't, though, because that is going to be bad if it does. But, um, yeah, it's going to be really quite interesting just to see, um, you know, what's going to happen with Nakisa and how Nena is going to... Um, get into this i think nagisa now oh my god now that her boyfriend is dead she has every right to feel resent to then that you know instinct of you know i will fucking kill this person along with going to hinami's aura as well that is bad that will be a bad combination but yeah it's going to be really quite interesting to see what happens so um yeah i'm gonna go to bed now i really hope you guys enjoyed this because i did i really did i thought this was a really quite um fun beginning and also i just thought it was really cool um you know seeing a really different perspective one that i never really thought we would be seeing one where um you know somebody where the effects of a disaster we've always just brushed aside we've always just brushed aside what actually happened there because what well, i have at least just because you know then i changed it doesn't really matter now that she's changed but no the, these effects don't matter they don't fucking care if somebody's changed it doesn't matter whatsoever oh it's gonna be quite cool seeing everything tomorrow so yeah see you guys then by the way i have exams for like until the 22nd of january so um i won't be able to no life he could ask you on weekends i'm gonna my session time is gonna be significantly reduced so yeah videos are gonna be shorter. we're gonna be able to play less it's kind of shame but yeah see you guys